ready? We'll crack it. Yep. Yeah, dude. One, two, three. Sweet. Oh, yeah, nice. dude. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Taste yeah. those Rocky Mountains. I know, I know. I love Coors Light. I don't know what it is. Just the we, Blue Mountains, man. We went to Colorado last year. Well, I got married last year. Did you do a year. tour? We did not. Oh. It, they they weren't. They were still doing a COVID thing. Oh, okay. So it was like the um, they hadn't fully opened up the tour. You had to book it like weeks and right, right, right. Yeah. Dang. So, but yeah, we went to Colorado for our honeymoon. That's and, sick. Uh, it was awesome. Yeah, we we did like a trek to uh, Kansas City, stayed there for a night, and then we went to uh, to El. Uh, what was it? Um, uh, the part there's a it's where the Stanley Hotel is okay. in Colorado. Yeah, we went there for a couple of nights to like a chateau. Did you do some skiing and, and shit? Then, no, no, it was kind of. I think it was kind of like a weird off sea like air. It was in May. Oh, okay. Uh, so they still had some, but I think yeah. you had to really. Um, you just going for the know, scenery more than exactly. The, yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was a great time. It was. I mean, one day, one minute it wouldn't be snowing, and then it'd be snowing. Right. You know? And so in May, <laughs> in May, exactly. it's a hundred yeah. here. It's right. Like I don't know. Snowing I mean, there, yeah. It might do that in Arkansas, you know. <laughs> Every now and then, I think yeah. it has snowed in May a handful of times, yeah, yeah. but that's just you know that's just preposterous mm-hmm. to even think that it could happen. <laughs> yeah. So what's up, man? How was tour? Oh, it was good. Yeah. Uh, overall, it was really good time, good experience. Um, Out with the Zash kids? Yes. We we kind of went uh, like an interesting route of travel because, you know, we were going to like sleep in the van, you mm-hmm. know, because we, we bought a van and yep. uh, we, we got it up in, uh, uh, where was the Prairie Grove, Arkansas. Of which, course. Which is like was it from third, a church? It was not from a church. Oh, okay. Was, but the guy bought it from a church. <laughs> oh, fair enough. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so it was kind of interesting because he uh, he was using it to haul Amish people to major cities. Apparently, that's something that they need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they, they're they like, okay, yeah, horse can't. and buggy ain't going to make it to Kansas exactly. City. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they <laughs> apparently, I think he said he was mostly taking them to like Tulsa and like up north, like Okay. Cleveland? Get like tools or some shit? No, or? no. They just wanted to visit. Interesting. So I guess maybe there's more Amish communities. But so that's all he was using it for. And then uh, and then I guess he had a kid and he was like, I need to get rid of it. What an odd. It was odd. That's odd. But they kept it. The great thing is, is the Amish, uh, he was telling us, will not use you again for their tra- transportation if you break down. So he kept it in a pretty, he kept it in pretty good shape. So he said one time, he's, this was a different van he had. He was traveling to like OKC uh-huh. and he ran out of gas and he lost half his customers. What? And so, yeah, broke down, ran out of gas and they were like, well, we're not using you again. That Amish logic is so strange, dude. I, I don't, I don't uh, know. Oh, we're going to live off the grid fine. Yeah. But when we do like, we're, go, we're off the, we didn't do, we didn't drive the machine. Exactly. Somebody else drove it. <laughs> exactly. But the machine broke down. Right. No, no, yeah. never again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. So he kept it in pretty good shape. Uh, so uh, it needed work. We put a good amount of yeah, work yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it runs great now. It's a 97 okay. uh, Chevy passenger. Now it's a Ford, Ford. on a line. Nice. Yeah. And, I think it'll uh, last forever. It runs great. It's got 200,000 miles, so it's not too high. Um, but well, I got one I used to do at work, had 400,000 miles on exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. Those things run and run and run. Mm hmm. And it still runs. Transmission's a little bonkers, but you could drive it down the road today right. still with 400,000 original miles. That's yep. preposterous. Yeah, we pretty much put everything new in it. New spark plugs, coil packs, tubes, nice, everything. Nice. Uh, ball joints, like uh-huh. all, the, all the stuff. So it ran great. It was perfect the whole time. But so we decided to, to pack all <laughs> 10 of us mm. in the van. Mm-hmm. And so... It, you it realize was, sleeping like this yeah, is not that yeah, great. Yeah. It, was a, it was a good idea. Did you beach bomb it? But well, we so we, we slept in the van one night at a Bucky's, uh-huh. and Jacob Mur- so Jacob Murray went with us, and um, he drove most of the time. I drove pretty much the whole time, yeah, which was great. I mean, having him there was very helpful. Uh, but he uh, he couldn't sleep. Yeah, and he was like, he was like, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> so, so he was like, I was trying to sleep in like the passenger, and I was like this, you know. Uh-huh. And then everybody back there was just like rattling. Everyone's like sleeping like the fucking crib keeper, man. Yeah, yeah. just back. <laughs> yeah. I think I think the only one that slept good was Ryan 
because he's like 20 pounds and he was like he was like yeah man i just found a spot in the floor and just you know <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> I'm like, crawl no. under the seats and yeah. then you get to lay out yeah, yeah, yeah exactly and i'm like well good for you but uh-huh. you know i got 30 minutes you know? i can't even get my shoulder under one of these fucking chairs <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah you're the first driver yeah, that's exactly, right yeah you so, don't need Tylenol. You you win driver's seat, right? Yeah. <laughs> so Jacob ended up like, like standing outside the whole night. He, okay, I think he was having an, some issues with his knee, mm-hmm. so he was just like he had the door open. He was just like standing there like the whole night, and I was like, I kept waking up and looking at him. And he'd be like, oh, yes. so we got a hotel the 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 previous night or the okay. next night, the next night. So, but overall, it was. It was really fun. I love the Zash guys. Oh yeah, um, they're they're super they're super nice, and they make good music. Which you know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, great music. I, yeah, I can't even imagine making <laughs> that good of music whenever I was nineteen. That's what I yeah, same. It's crazy. How did that come out of their tiny new bodies? Like what the fuck? I, I don't get it. First time I ever saw them, I looked at my buddy. I was like, we weren't that good, man. I'm no. sorry. Like there's no way. <laughs> no, no. The, there's I I so I. I started out playing bass in high school. Talked about it with some friends, and I think it's Access. They have access they do, to YouTube. everything. Yeah, yeah. YouTube is huge. Yeah. And, they, and they've got, you know, I mean, even I'm, I, I turned 27 on Tuesday. Okay. So I'm kind of right in that, like, middle ground of, like, I remember CDs. I sure, had a CD sure, sure. collection. But kind of, like, right at the coming of age, you know, Spotify kind of came around. So... Were you still probably in high school when Spotify? And no, I think I was. Were you out co- already? I think I was in college. College, like, or like freshman. So year. you still missed the the early formative stuff then, because YouTube yeah. was kind of just a place you went. It was kind of like, look at this funny video. It's like an email chain thing, you right, know. Right. Still, yeah. No, and there, it's not what it was today or right. what it is now. Like, no, I no, there was definitely plenty of music on there at that yeah. time, but it was still. I mean, I remember having to, you know. Get all my music in my Apple library uh-huh. and getting the, you know, the, download the, first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, you know, I still remember all that. And I, I, you know, I like to have, you know, I download like a whole discography, whatever. Got to get all the, the, the album artwork okay. for it. And, you know, so I was like that. I, I had to have so much music. So whenever Spotify came out, I was like, hell yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's because I, I mean, I'm constantly like moving, like, Artists, artists listening. Really? To, uh, yeah. You just shop it in a playlist and just uh, that one add plus whatever. Yeah, yeah, for wow. sure. I like the the daily mixes that Spotify has. Okay. If you, if you don't know what that is, it's, I don't. It's like where they take what you listen to and they make you a playlist. Oh, okay, like an AI thing. Yeah. Okay. And so I, I mostly listen to those. Oh, okay. But, yeah. But yeah On the no, constant they're... search for something new. Yes, wow, exactly. I, and I'm kind of a. I don't know. I'm a little bit of a purist whenever it comes to like heavy music because uh, I pretty much only listen to heavy music. Really? Yeah. Damn. I, I know. I I'm like '90s rap uh-huh. and heavy music. And okay. That's, that's pretty much it. So uh, I don't know. I like my music, and and you know, pe- and if you're in my car, we're listening to something heavy. Right, right, right. I mean, I don't, I don't even care if you don't like it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's what I like. I'm driving a lot. So, I, that's fair. That's know, fair. It's, yeah. it's I, lo- uh, I love I love most things except like pop. I really not a huge fan of yeah. like pop music. I say that <laughs> I like other music. It's just that's what I prefer. These days, I find myself to. classic rock. I'm just classic rock and indie rock. For I think I'm just getting older. I grew up on that. My eardrums are beat to shit. You right. know, just from being in concerts for half my sure. life i'm just like, oh my god another one <laughs> yeah, yeah we start, i started early with the earplugs see um, you're smart i yeah. am not, i still don't do it dude i've got yeah. tinnitus permanent baby yeah we, we started practicing <laughs> you know in in uh in our guitarist is um is this open casket yeah so so we were so there's fox me fox our mm-hmm. vocalist yep and Jacob shot to his leg. Yes. Yeah. Or is it foot? <laughs> it's his ankle. Ankle. Yes, it's his ankle. <laughs> so I'll tell you that in a minute because I watched him do that. Oh, it was you so did? So funny. I was like, well, yeah, I'll get okay, to that. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was me, Fox, and Jacob. Jacob is his brother. Okay. He's the one with the black curly hair, um, our guitarist. So I'm trying to think of when we started our first band. We went through a few names. We landed on the name Omnibane. Oh, yeah, which dude. Which is an awful name. It's only awful if you suck. Well, and we weren't very good. There you go. Well, 
It, we, That's why you don't remember it fondly. It, yeah. Yes, exactly. <laughs> we used it as like a – so me and Fox, like I knew how to play bass a little bit. But the issue was is we were a three-piece mm. the entire time we were a band. And so Jacob knew how to play drums. Fox didn't know how to do anything. We are all relatively new to mm-hmm. like to being a musician. Well, not Jacob. Oh, okay. So Jacob carried the band. <laughs> he played the drum. So if you listen to an Omnibane song, it's him on guitars and drums and vocals. So oh, yeah. okay. So uh, Fox does some vocals, and then I can't remember how he recorded the bass. Like I think I recorded some. Fox recorded some. Yeah. But so we were like, all right, well, we want to be a three piece, but Fox shouldn't play guitar. And sing. So he was like, all right, I could probably play bass and sing. Right. Well, you know, to be fair. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's maybe a little easier. So I had to learn how to play guitar. Oops. So we spent the first, like, a year and a half of being a band just learning how to play instruments. <laughs> learning how to play instruments. Yeah. Uh, damn, yeah. man. You got the band before the knowledge. That's exactly. crazy. Yeah. We were like, we were like, I want to start a band, you know. And so it's like some shit you see in a sitcom where they're like, yeah, yeah we signed up for the talent show. And they're like, I guess we better learn how to play. Learn how to play. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so so we started that, and we just we could never like we we originally wanted to be a grunge band. Oh yeah, and so we were like, yeah, you know, Alice in Chains is so cool. So we started that, and we we learned how to play our instruments. Eventually, we started writing music, and we could never like land on a genre. Sure, and I really think that was our issue. We mm. kept writing like like sludge riffs, doom riffs. You it's know. weird when you have an idea and you're trying to stay there. You don't let it naturally just come out of your body. Right. Sometimes being like, no, it's got to be this. It's almost worse than, you know, I've definitely tried some projects where it's like, do this thing. And it's like, I can't, my brain doesn't do that. Right. So I kind of just over the years learned to like, just let it be what it is. Right. Yeah. Don't force it. Yep. And that's what it was. We just kept, we would write a song and be like, all right, that doesn't sound anything like our other songs, (laughs) Yeah. but we're just going to, you know, we're going to roll with it. So. We, um, yeah, we didn't. And so at the time, like I would say me and Fox were like very new to the scene. Like we've mm. only been like friends with people, like going to shows actively for like a little over a year. Um, he started dating, Fox started dating Tinsley. A year currently? Yeah. What the yeah. fuck? Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. No, like we're like super new to the scene. Like we, we didn't know anyone and that was why we struggled as omnibane because we didn't know anyone sure and so we were that we were that band for like close to four years and getting your foot in the door is real it's yeah pain in the ass exactly yeah. and we we didn't even know like shows were happening like i mean seriously i hear that a lot from people y'all's I, age I like know. we didn't we didn't have a clue that this was even a thing exactly like we like we we always loved all of these bands came to vino's you know i uh, you know and we just didn't know they were the shows were happening Wow. And we we had a band, right? And right. I was trying to like book a shows, and it was like, and then, play at a church, play at the play at Grandpa's, uh, yeah, or some oh, yeah. kids we bar played, mitzvah or whatever some, the fuck, yeah, some really solid shows. <laughs> Can we you play know? your wedding? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you know, I'd show the people the music, and be like, "This isn't very good." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'd be like, "All right, well, look, okay, we're just trying to get our foot in the door." <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, no, we didn't know anyone. Eventually, I, I think. Tinsley ended up uh, introducing me to, I want to say it was uh, Shalmi, the drummer in oh. Our Revisions. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, not Tinsley, I'm sorry. It was uh, Lauren, who was a friend of Fox's uh, ex-girlfriend. And uh, he was like, he was like, oh yeah, we got this new band, Morbid Visions, and and he was like, yeah, we need some, you know, uh, bands to play with. I was like, yeah, cool. So I think I finally friended someone like, I don't remember who it was, but I friended someone on Facebook, and then I finally found out about all these shows. There you go. Was so it we, Evan, maybe? I, yeah, I think it was probably Evan. It was him or, like, Delac or one of the more Revisions guys. Okay. And so I was like, I was like, yeah, let's just start going to shows. So we started going to, like, all the shows. Right. And this was, like, I don't know. Do you remember that Headbangers Hall thing they did at the hall last year? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that all locals thing. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that was where, uh, so we had started going to shows, and we, had, we still had this old band, and we were at that, uh, we were at the Headbangers Hall. Did you play it? Were no, you no, oh, no. Okay. we, we were there. at it just watching gotcha. it, and I was like, I was like, man, I said, we should start a, a new band. We should start over. <laughs> yeah, we should just like scrap everything we have. That's good foresight, and, though. Yeah. That's good and, on you. Because I was watching these the locals, and I was like, man, we, you know, we had some new music we had written. Right. It was like more death metal. And I was like, I was like, okay, we need to change gears. You know, let's change names. 
get a new logo, whatever, mm. add a drummer. Because Jacob, our guitarist, he played the drums, but he's a guitar player. Right, he, right, right. He's been in bands in the past. Now, we have gone to shows. Like he, so he was his uh, he was in a band with his uncle mm-hmm. way back in the day. Played some shows with like Every Knee Shall Bow. Right, and uh, we used to go to those shows. Shout out to him. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and um, so we were at the Headbangers Hall, and we were like, man, let's start a new band. So we were sitting there on our phones, and we we're like, ah, right, let's come up with a name. Like literally <laughs> at, at the, the at show. The show yeah, yeah, we were like at the show. I was like, all right, let's come up with a name. I started looking through songs on like Spotify. And I was like, I started looking through de- uh, death songs, okay. like the band Death, and I was like, and I and open the song Open Casket came up, and I was like, man, that's a that'd be a cool fucking name. There you go. And uh, and my wife was like, I was like, yeah, you should like put a K in there, so whenever you get searched on Google, you're the only thing that comes up. Right. It's like perfect. So I li- we literally came up with a band and name. That, isn't that something that that's a part of o- yeah. owning a band name now? You're like, how can we make it where like that's the search? That's what comes up. Algorithm, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. like my band's so generic, it has four generic words in it. We've got to make right. it all the way to the W before we pop up in right. anything. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And we just so we, <clears throat> that's why we named ourselves Omnibane because we made the word up. Right. We were like, all right, we we want to be the only thing that comes up. You know? It's kind of smart. Yeah. It's it makes it accessible anyway. Right. So if you, anybody hey, Google even... my band. You exactly. Know? So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so yeah, so we came up. I, we came up with the name right then and there, and then Tinsley made our uh, art, our uh, logo. The logo. With yeah. The... Yeah, like the next day. Nice. And so, dur- also during that show, Tinsley was like, "Hey, you know, we were like, let's find a drummer." And and she was like, "Well, I know this guy named Ryan. Was he already there or something?" No, he wasn't. He he was he was home. I think he had at the time he like broke his foot or something. Oh, okay. And, and uh, yeah, which <laughs> is kind of the drummer with the broken foot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so so she was like, "Yeah, I know this guy named Ryan. I, you know, he's kind of in a band right now. I don't really know." And um, so it, so I friended him on Facebook and I messaged him. I was mm-hmm. like, "Hey." I know we don't know each other. Do you want to be in our band? I said, here's the name. We just came up with it. Here's the name. Here's 37 a... seconds ago. <laughs> yeah. 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 Here's, the, here's the, the song that we had wrote. Uh, and, uh, and he was like, yeah, sure. Love it. So, yeah. And all this was a year ago? Yeah. yeah. Damn. Yeah, I know. It just, it, it's I so know. crazy. Yeah, and y'all have done so much. I know. It will. Was that in the cards or is all this kind of just happening you're just kind of going with the flow well i've been i've tried to be strategic because we were just talking about mammoth caravan those guys Mm -hmm. they had a they had a goal like they were like no we want to do everything under the sun right but y'all are like y'all are doing everything under the sun as well right and in such a short time frame that's crazy right yeah no we just we're just going with the flow and we may i but I've tried to be strategic, you know. I'm like, we we learned the for those beginning years of our early band, and then I was like, all right, we're not doing any of that stuff anymore, right? You know, but you playing. got the instruments, you know. Yes, yeah. exactly. And and over that time, we gathered, you know, really good gear too. Mm. So like, it helped whenever we finally did, you know, start up Open Casket. We already had like really solid, nice. Gear. Yeah, I could fill a room. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so, but yeah, we, we met up with Ryan, I think his foot healed. We had like two practices and then we played our first show. I bo- so I booked our first show before. Was it Eyes Up House? Practi- no, it was, that was our second show. Oh, okay. Our first show was with Body Box and Vatican. Dang. Uh, yeah, I had, so we had, after that, we had made the name, the logo. We went to, I knew of Stan. I, I know it's, I knew of Stan for a long time. Sure. And um, I, I didn't know Evan. Um, but, you know, he obviously became very helpful. Uh, but I knew of Stan. So we went to, uh, like, one of Stan's shows. And after the show, I just, I just like, talked to him. I was like, hey, you don't know me? You know, I'm, we're starting this band. You know, here, I sent him a song. I sent him our logo. And I was like, can you put us on a show? Damn. And he was like, he was like, yeah, sure, you know. So, I mean, again, you know, that's, and Stan kind of preaches that, you know, he's like, He's like, you know, just come up and talk to us. And it's the best way, man. Yeah. And, and even if it's not instant, which I guess y'all got lucky that it was we instant. We did get lucky. Yeah. It, you know, because a lot of times it's not instant. No. Sometimes it might be a month, two months, a year. Right. It just kind of is like we already had all this stuff in the works. Sometimes people don't understand how long some of these shows mm-hmm. are being worked on. Six oh, yeah. months, you know. Yeah. 
And it's just like, well, I've only got the three I'm doing this year, and I've already kind of got this idea, so maybe till next year. It's right. that's uh, man, that's fucking wild. I know. It, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, he I he had messaged me, and I guess I think the Body Box show was Evan's show, and I guess he sent Evan like our songs, mm -hmm. and yeah, and then he hit one of us up, and we're like, hey, we I got the show, you want to play it? <laughs> And I was like, yeah, that's a badass show. <laughs> and I was like, we don't, we're not really ready yet. And but. again, for the second time, you're like, I guess we got to go write some songs. Yes, yeah, yeah, we did. We did. We went and wrote like two songs. And we were like, all right, well. And then we ended up actually having to play like two Omnibane shows for that set. Because we didn't have like a, you know, like a full set yet. Right. And so, but Ryan came in. He learned like all of our songs and like two practices. Well, Ryan's an awesome drummer. He is. Yeah. He is. And um, so, and then we got up there, and I guess people liked it, and kept that kept they kept asking yeah. us to play shows. So. Yeah, it's, yeah. When people like what you do, it it tends to make you want to keep doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was fun though, because that was like the first time, like we had had more than probably. I mean, we had had some people at our previous shows, but no one sure. had ever like moshed before. Sure, sure, sure. So it was like fan interaction, fan yeah, interaction. Yeah, 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 so it yeah. was like we were playing our our songs. For the first time with people moshing, uh -huh. it was like, man, this is awesome. <laughs> yeah, and you're up on the front line, too, so you get to yeah. see it. I'm back there in the drum kit. I know right, I don't exactly. see shit, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's like the first row of people. That's about yeah. it. Yeah, no, it was it was so cool. Like, the very, like, the first show, I know, like, Serge was there. Mm -hmm. And I was like, who is this guy? And yeah. why is he nonstop? That might have been when he came <laughs> yeah. around, too, to be honest. I think honest. it was. I think it was. I think it was early on in his him going to, like, a lot of There's shows. There's been a lot of first very recent so like even like zashed and mammoth and y'all mm. even crowd people and every face at a show you talk to any mm. guy and they're pushing 40 they're like i don't know half these people and yeah. like that's a very good thing yeah oh yeah, yeah. I mean, we go to shows i mean even now we go to like we try to go pretty much to every like heavy show well that's how you stay in the thing yeah exactly. people, people don't realize that mm -hmm. the, the internet's good but it's not as good as in person man. exactly if you want to yeah. move and shake and jive and get like you play with some touring band, mm -hmm. small or big. If it goes well and you carry yourself as a professional, yep. that dude, the amount that does for you when you go to the next thing and the next thing, yep. some guy calls, hey, you ever heard of, oh, yeah, dude, we play with them in Little Rock. Shit right. was wild. They're great. Yep. It matters. It does. A hundred percent. Yep. And we learned that. We learned that. We went to a few shows and we were like, you know, kind of getting our name out there by just like, Making friends with people. Yep. And we were like, this is perfect. You yeah. Know? And so we just kept going to shows. And I, obviously, we love going to shows. You know, that helps. You know? <laughs> it does help. But, you know, and so we just kept going to shows and, and uh, making friends. and you Getting know. it almost hard to do. You got to pick and choose now. Yeah, it's true. It's There's a, a show lot every other shows. day. <laughs> yeah. I know we're playing um, our next local show is, is, it, is uh, the day before the next fight medal. Is it the... It's what? Body Box and uh, No Zodiac. When is that? It's the July? day before. It's June 22nd. June 22nd. Yeah. I knew it was coming up. Yeah. But it's, I was like. It's that week of like every show that, ever. And then there's the wrestling thing. Yep. And there, then the week before, there's something else too. It's well, so there's much th stuff. two other shows that week. There's Kill Order is playing with, uh, and I think it's Moldy Cheese. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, they're yeah, playing yeah. with uh, Enforcer. They're like a death thrash band. They're super okay. cool. And then I think that Monday is the Mexican Coke show. Uh, which Mexican Coke? Mexican That's the Coke. name of the band? Yes. Yes. I, I have heard that he brings a shotgun on stage. <laughs> yes. 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 So I'm not sure it's about it. I, I, I assume it's empty. <laughs> so, <laughs> fingers crossed, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. So yeah, that's a there's a lot of shows that week. I'm a sucker for a good uh, antic, though. Yeah, but I we love No Zodiac and Body Box, and Evan hit us up about it and was like, "Hey, will you play this show? I know there's a lot of shows this week." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." I mean, you know, yeah, it's another show, you know, and uh, and we love playing shows, so you know. You just kind of, yeah. yeah, you just get what you get, and you know, and you bring, if you want to play every week, then play every week, and there's right. going to, and what's, you know, good about it is right now, you kind of can. Yeah, and people show up. If you're a new band, you can get on a lot of shows right now, Yeah, because a lot of the older ones, they kind of pick and choose, like we pick and choose, I mean, we only play like twice a year right. locally, uh, 
you just don't you but you've done all that stuff yeah. all the all the you know we're playing every weekend with every band ever that's good in the beginning it really mm-hmm. is charge it up do it yeah. make a name for yourself well the great thing is is playing with bands that you you know are similar to that mm-hmm. you know because our goal is to do touring you know fan building and so yeah. well mainly um like like making friends with those bands. So if they've got uh, like, like three bands days passing through, yeah, 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 I got you. So if they've got like three days, they need a band on, you know, for a tour, you know, they might hit us up and say, Hey, you know, we need a band for three days. Absolutely. You dude. know? And so that's the next kind of step for us is to try to do some runs and, and stuff with, uh, with bands that, you know, cause right now, I mean, like the, the Zash, uh, open casket run was super cool, yep. but it was us like headlining. Sure. So, like, nobody went to those shows because they were like, oh, I know Open Casket. Uh-huh. No one knows who we are, you know? So Maybe we, a couple internet. Yeah, 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 maybe they looked us up or right, whatever. Right, right. Or maybe they saw us, you know? I, but, you know, it'd be nice. It, it'll be nice to, like, get on a couple tours with some bands that already, you know, have a bigger following. Yes. And that way, you know, they, they're coming to check out that big band. Mm-hmm. And they say, oh, Open Casket was sick. You know, check them yep. out. So, and you just keep doing that, and you keep doing exactly. that, and you keep doing that. Yeah, and hopefully you're the band eventually that, that other bands are trying to tag along. Exactly. With. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And that's the goal. I mean, we, we, I mean, we, I'm trying to take the band, you know, as far as we can, you know, yeah. without, you know, we all have jobs, obviously, which is the toughest part. Yeah, yeah. Luckily, um, you know, most of our jobs are pretty. You know, pretty they relaxed. Seem to, yeah, they seem to be, be pretty relaxed. That's awesome, man. Especially yeah. a bit. What are y'all, a five piece? Yep. Four? Five? Yeah. Five? Piece, five piece. Yeah. Total five piece? Yeah. Yeah. For five people's schedules to work out to be able to leave for any amount of time mm-hmm. more than once a year is right. like unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, you know, I'm trying to, like, our next run is with, with uh, Kill Order and Heat. Um, they're from uh, Texas. Mm. And that's at the beginning of July. And it's like the day, like, it's like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, but it's like, the day before Fourth of July. Oh, so kind of like, well, it'd be like, yeah, you know, I think people have like days off already, right? So it's like easy to kind of, and then our this this other one was Memorial Day, so it was <laughs> like, you know, Memorial Day, everybody had it all had it yep. off, you know. So. Summertime's <laughs> great too because kids, you know, no school. Well, that didn't help us out in Starkville, unfortunately. <laughs> in where? Star- so our first show was in Starkville, Starkville, Mississippi. Is that- oh, okay. Which is a college well. town. Mississippi. Yeah, right. Kinda. Yeah. And it was I mean it was a cool show, obviously, but it, it but it was uh Is this the place with out. the light up barrels? What was that? That that was Atlanta. Okay. Okay. Uh, they go extra. I yeah, was like, this it was, is it fucking was an interesting. Weird. So so that show was in uh, a place in Atlanta called Underground Atlanta, mm-hmm. which used to be a mall. Mm. And uh and I guess I think what it was is they had too many too much violence. Okay. Like too many shootings, yeah, too yeah. many. So they uh, shut it down for a long time, and now the only thing that's there, like it's a big mall, like a massive mall. Yeah. And it's underground. Whoa. And it's all brick. It's all really cool, and it's like just a bunch of empty shops. But uh, art vendors have started opening up like shops oh. down there. So this place we played at in Atlanta was is actually an an art venue where they sell art. And I guess they started booking shows there. It was interesting. It was um, different. It was different. We're seeing yeah. play behind giant marshmallow head barrels. Yes. That's what they look we like. Were, yeah, we were like, <laughs> we were like looking at them. And we were like, are they going to move these? <laughs> I, I but, thought it was an EDM show, to be honest. That y'all, like, yeah. they put a hardcore band on. Yeah. You yeah, know. no. It, 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 but then we were looking at them, they were like duct taped to the ground. So I was like, okay, I don't I think they're moving these. <laughs> so, <laughs> some strange barrier between us and them. Right, yeah. yeah. And so, but yeah, no, that, that, show, that show was interesting. But the Alabama show was the one that like made the whole run. It was such a sick show. Um, Where was it in Alabama? It was in, uh, no, it was uh, actually in Madison. Madison. Which is right outside of Huntsville. Okay. Um, it was at uh, a place called Insanity Skate Park. Oh, and, shit. Uh, yeah, it was super cool. Like, the tiny-ass room, mm. probably like 80 people. Love it. It was so cool. And the kid, it, was all, it was all kids, too. Oh, great. even better. Yeah. Energy. It, it, yeah. Kids have energy. energy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was all kids because, I mean, it was a skate park, you know, yeah, yeah. a bunch of skater kids, you know. 
Um, Did you play in the skate ramps? No, it was so they had the what's weird. So they have like a concession area. Yeah. And then like some bathrooms. And then they just have this room that's just a big open room with like 30 <laughs> plugs across the wall. And I don't they that's don't do it. anything else with it but yep. play shows in there. Okay. So yeah. So no, they just set up like at the back of the room and just Here's a PA. Yeah. Go. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Floor yeah. show. Yeah. Nice. It was a floor show, yeah. Uh, and they've got like a little box for like the vocalists to stand on, and that's about yeah, it. yeah, just yeah. to get up above to see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, now that was that was such a cool show, and uh, God, that sounds fun. It was it was super fun. And the two locals that were on there <sighs> were like super sick, like kids too, like, right? You know, like right out of high school. The first band that played, I can't remember their name, but uh, they I was like outside, like kind of like setting our merch up, and they started playing. I was like, damn, that sounds really good. Uh-huh. Like, these fucking kids, man. Dude, I'm telling you. It's, it's different. something. It's there's something in the water. I don't know. There's what different it is. humans now amongst us. Yeah. They look the same. They are not the same. No. No. <laughs> no. Uh, and and they and I was like outside, I love Cannibal Corpse. And they started playing a Cannibal Corpse cover. And I was like, uh, and I was like, because so some people were talking to me, and I was like, hang on, I gotta go. Yeah, There's a yeah, Cannibal yeah, Corpse yeah, yeah. cover being <laughs> And so it was such a good cover. So, yeah, that's, that show, like, made the whole run. And, um, yeah, it was, uh, and then the Memphis show was, was cool, too. Um, Where'd y'all play in Memphis? At Growlers. Okay. Yeah, which the sound there is really great, which okay. was nice, because, I mean, everywhere else. I mean, the Atlanta had sound, but... So we use uh, you know, we use like bass booms in mm-hmm. our songs. I use I use this little pedal, little eight oh eight drops. Yeah, yeah. So I use a it's a it's called a jam man. Yeah, I got a jam man. Yeah, yeah. That's how we do all our samples. Do you have the there mini or the big one? No, I've got the mini. The mini. But I have a uh, I have a uh, uh, like a switcher, so I oh, can okay. switch between the yep the with samples. your feet instead of bending over the whole time. Yep. Yeah, we bought the big one because the switcher's built in. Right. Yeah, love yeah, yeah. I couldn't find the big one for like. They're hard to find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I found this one. It's like perfect condition for like 90 They haven't bucks. made them in like 10, 15 years. Right. Yeah. They're, all, they're all old. It was very complicated to figure out how to oh. put the samples in there. But I stole it from uh, uh, my two favorite bands, Kublai Khan, Knocked Loose. Uh-huh. They do that. Yep. They did that. I th- actually think Kublai Khan still does it. Uh, but their bassist uses a jam man for their 808s. It's just, it's just, it's, it's, it's easy. So easy. Once you figure out that shitty software, yep, and you can figure out the the go between, yep. It's like, dude, all I gotta do is push a button with my foot. It's right there. I don't have to rely on tracks yep. or being on time. It's right. just, it's in my own time. Right. I love it. And what's great about it is, is it if if we play a place, so we have samples too that we're running from like a phone. Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah. A yeah. DI box, um, and that's great. Uh, but I don't want to put my I want to be able to play those samples at places that just have like a PA mm-hmm. and not run my bass booms through it because like I don't want to blow these like you know <laughs> these tiny little practice PA's yeah, yeah, yeah. These practice PA's <laughs> yeah, yeah. by running my bass booms through it. So it's great to be able to play shows and have our samples. Start bringing your own subwoofer, man. Yeah, I know, I know, <laughs> legitimately. Yeah, yeah, and it's great to you know still and then whenever we have sound, you know, I have the bass booms. But this this Atlanta place was their sound system was only subs. Oh my god! Giant subs. Everything was kind of muted sounding. It, well, <laughs> it, I don't know really how it's how sounded, they it structured. Yeah, but like they, he, I guess he really loves bass booms because that sound guy. Like every time I'd hit that, it would everything would clip out, and that was the only thing anyone could hear. <laughs> and after the show, they were like, they were like, "Yeah, you guys were great, but." Those bass rooms were so loud. <laughs> I was like, good, <laughs> good, good. Okay, that's that's the goal. <laughs> I just want to know, did anyone shit their self? That's right, all exactly. I need. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that reminds me of when we played in Austin, and the sound guy had an eight, one of those 18-inch floor toms, the mm-hmm. big boys. He mic'd it with a kick drum mic. And by the time you got done, the, he had the bass so loud. Yeah. I would be in the next part before the boom would fade from the floor tom. Right, yeah. Love it. Yeah, and when you're on stage and it's hitting, you're just like, "Oh my god!" Yeah, yeah, it's it does. so different. <laughs> yeah, there's sometimes where I'm on Vino's stage, and I, every time I hit that, <laughs> there's one video of us playing that Kurt filmed. Uh, he's like, you know, on the side of, side of the stage, like filming us at Vino's, and I guess my bass booms were like extra loud that night. <laughs> and Jackson, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was Jackson for yeah. sure. Yeah, and so <laughs> he's like filming. We were like between songs. 
And you can hear Kurt say like, "Turn up the bass booms." <laughs> and uh, William Clark is next to him. He's like, "He's like, please don't do that." <laughs> I'm like, yeah, "That's the way I want it." <laughs> it's making my intestines shuffle around. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's, uh, I, I mean, being a bassist, I love the low end. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <clears throat> well, yeah, you're the back. You and the drummer. That's the backbone, baby. Yep. The rhythm section. Right. Yeah, we uh, we we like a lot. I mean, I'm always the one like giving notes whenever we send off our tracks to get mixed. So mm. it always ends up a little bit extra on the bass side. It's not making my woofers move a certain way, exactly. sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And th- this new mix we had, so we do uh, the same thing that uh, that More Revisions and Terminal Nation do, which we get we get we get it engineered by Tedford, who's right. great. Love Tedford. Love Tedford. Uh, he captures the sound very well. Oh yeah. And then, but but like as far as like the sound we're going for, we got that like kind of chainsaw HM2 tone. Right. And send it to a send it to a uh, mastering engineer or mixing engineer. Yeah. 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 So we send it to it's this guy named Ryan Brom. He's in Arizona. It's who Terminal Nation more revisions get their stuff done by right too. On. And um, so. We get it done. Uh, we get it mixed by him, and then this last track, last one, we got it mastered by Audio Siege, who's like real big master. Yeah, that, that that name's ringing a bell. Yeah, he he does a lot. He does. I listen to a lot of like production podcasts. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah, it's all I do is listen to podcasting. But yeah, I listen to a ton of musical ones. That name's ringing a, a bell pretty good. Yeah, he he uh, he did it. He kind of he took like our tracks and just brought them to the next level. Don't you love when that happens? Yeah, it was so good. Cause like what we did this time around was pretty much the same what we did like on our first EP. Uh, but we sent it off to get mastered. And it was dude, that mastering. Yeah. If you find a guy that likes your project too, yeah. we did that. We spent all the money with just, here's the money. Mm-hmm. We found the guy. We're like, this is the guy. Da, 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 da. Yep. And it comes back and you're just like, this guy gets it. And yep. it's just all the right things are in all the right places. Right. And you're like, my God, God, yeah. How was that even us? I know it, it's just it just you you think you know you you originally listen to it and you're like ah oh, it's pretty good, and then you listen to it on like everything your car oh yeah you know, phone your, headphones phone, headphones and you're like it sounds good everywhere yeah my Bluetooth yeah. speaker right yeah when yeah. it's done well it's just like it sounds right on everything everything yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. so we were super happy with with that. And uh, we even had ours mastered for vinyl, so we have like the two yeah. different masters. We really want to do, we haven't got to that point of being able to do physicals yet. Yeah, um, it's a tough point. Yeah, we just were just like, no, we're gonna have to make it happen. So we just went ahead and shot forward mm-hmm. and like paid for it already. Yeah. Like, just get it out of the way, pay the money, right? Because we know we're going to do it. Because mm-hmm. if, if this is a one time shot where we make an album that's like this album, mm-hmm. I mean, it's got to be on something physical. Exactly. That was our whole mindset. Yeah, I think by the time we do uh, the next uh, next thing we're planning on doing is we're going to do a split, mm. and then uh, hopefully you know, a full record. Splits by are fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah this we're super excited about this split we're doing. I wish more people would more just all genres everything would. Yeah, get, I know. Just like a two three song yeah. split EP thing. Some of the best music is on a split because you can kind of deviate a little. Yep. You know. Yep. If there's like this one real ass beater thing you've been trying to toss in, mm-hmm. but you can't really do it in your thing, just put it in there. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Oh yeah, no. I mean these these two new tracks we're gonna do on the split are. They're kind of different. They're a little yeah, bit yeah. more like beat down, a little mm-hmm. bit more like I'd say heavier, like let like kind of on that less death metal, more right. I guess I mean gives you a little bit more dynamic freedom. Yeah, you're not so boxed in on a split. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm excited about that, and then hopefully we'll do an LP next. But yeah, LPs are hard. I know. <laughs> I know. Yeah. They're so hard. Yeah. Yeah. We. We got lots of content, you know, like, uh, so, so we, we did like a four piece thing for a while with Ryan mm-hmm. and then, uh, Ryan was in victim of your dreams. Right. Um, and he, at the time, I can't remember exactly the story, but Ethan, our other guitar player who was in all's at an end, uh, um, yeah. And, uh, what had joined victim of your dreams and like, we practiced a couple of times and Ryan was like, was like, hey, we need another guitarist. I got this guy, Ethan. <laughs> you know, and we're like, eh, we'll see. You know, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so finally, he was like, no, 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 
you know, he's he's like, he's just going to come in, you know. And I guess Ethan was like, was like telling him, they, he was like, He's like, yeah, tell them they need a second guitar player. Okay. Like, <laughs> yeah. like, okay. So, so we were like, Shit's weak. Right, Shit's right, weak. Yeah. Let's bring him in. You know, we brought him in for a practice, and he was perfect. Right. Well, He's, the fullness from a second guitar is just unmatchable. It is. It's it's hard to beat. It's hard to beat. Unless yeah. you're a really tone-conscious, singular dude. Yeah. Where you can make the bass and the guitar. Some bands can do it. Yeah. But that second one really adds the fluff. Yep. Yeah. And he was perfect. Perfect addition, great guy, and uh, and he and he writes some mad riffs. Like, there you go. Um, I mean, just great music. And so, what, what like this? The newest releases um, was kind of Fox like writing it, mm-hmm. and then Fox writes pretty good music, <laughs> but he can kind of kind of writes. Uh, he gets a little repetitive in his writing. Sure, sure, sure. And so it happens. So these last these uh, one of the last releases we just put out, um, it was like a Fox song, and then Ethan took it and like kind of took it to that next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's been, and that's that's also how this one of our newer songs is too. And I think that's really working for us. So. Yeah, yeah. I think a more a uh, couple people on the job of writing is yeah. Unless you just said with the savant, you know, and yeah, you're just like yeah, everything's great, fine, fuck it, we'll just learn all that. Right. I couldn't write it this good if I tried. Exactly. You know? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not a big writer. Uh, Jacob Fox my favorite. and Ethan have they handle all that. Yeah, they handle all that. I like to call myself kind of the the finalizer. So like, I'll like like listen to what they got, and mm-hmm. then I'll like be like, okay, it'd be cool if we did this here. Right, almost like yeah. a producerial thing. Yeah, like, yeah. I, what if this part was last instead of in the middle of the beginning? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That and that's funny because on our the single we dropped, uh, Splintered with uh, with Matt, <laughs> yeah. Second Life, um, it was originally totally different. Like that middle section where he's like in the song, and I was like, "What if we did this here?" Mm-hmm. And I said, "We should we should get like a feature on it." I said that'd be really cool. So we literally like wrote that like the day before we recorded it. And, Dang. And yeah, and then Matt, we hit up Matt the day of. He just like, showed up. He just put showed a verse up. up. Yeah. Very hip hop style, man. It was man. awesome. It's like, yeah, we just were... show up in the studio, hit a verse, and <laughs> yeah, go home. Exactly. That's we crazy. had no <laughs> lyrics written. We had no lyrics written. I got to give some credit to Jay uh, in uh, Kill Order. He was there too. He helped write that part. And uh, But yeah, he came in. We had no lyrics. And we were like, all right, well, let's write some lyrics <laughs> real quick. <laughs> so he just hopped in the booth, recorded his part. It was sick. And then left. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thanks. See ya. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. love that. So it and, it and it turned, I think it made the song. And, uh, you know, it turned out real cool. But Yeah, yeah. Y'all are having so many good moments in such a short time. This is fan- not, it's phenomenal. Yeah. It's great. Yeah, we're, we're super excited that everybody's. You know, it, it, obviously, I got to give a huge shout out to Stan and Evan. They right. really, like, whenever we were, so we wrote these three, these three tracks, and I was like, I was like, all right, you know, I really want to try to do, I really want to try to get it on like a label, which that's crazy too. Yeah, they all yeah. signed, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, that's fucking yeah, that's so wild. Yeah, and uh, I was like, I really want to try to get it on label. I don't know anything about it. I don't know what to say to these people. You know? All right. So, what do I do with my hands? Exactly. Like, <laughs> uh, you know? yeah. So I was like, so I probably annoyed the shit out of Stan, but I was like, I was like, hey man, you know, will you help me, you know, try to like kind of word this? And he was so helpful. I mean, he sent me back like essays. Oh, like, dude, yeah. Literally, yeah. I was talking to Stan the other day before we dropped the new music video. He's like, I'll, I'll give you all the contacts people you need to send it to. I was like, it's all right, buddy. Yeah, he's yeah. like, no, seriously. And then he's like, starts showing me stuff. And I was like, here, I'll just take photos of it. Yeah. You know, he's like, oh, you want to do vinyl here? Check this out. Da-da-da. It'll cost this much. I'm like, damn, man. Yeah. He just really, he's so keyed he, in. He is. And he just is. knows it. Yeah. He pulled it up and gave me a vinyl quote. He doesn't even work for these people. Yeah, exactly. He's like, this is how much it costs. I'm like, yeah. fuck, that's crazy. I'm like snapping photos right. on my phone. <laughs> yeah. He just, he's got the ends, you know, and. And, he's been uh, around so long, and yeah. he's been grinding for so long. No, oh, I, I can, I, I can imagine. And everybody he meets, he makes it. You know, he does it the right way. Everybody mm. he meets, he makes a point to, hey, what's up? I'm Stan. Blah blah. blah. And he's always throwing, you know, banger after banger of a show. Yeah, uh, it's. And yeah. now they've got a whole crew of dudes that are doing it together. Yeah. which is like fucking 
powerhouse dream team of show promotion. Uh, it's, you know, it's, I mean, yeah, he just he doesn't miss right now. Yeah, you know, and but yeah, he sent me back like essays of shit to send to these guys, and it was you know it was super helpful. And then finally, we we you know we we tried with a a couple people I was in conversations with a couple mm-hmm. people, and we landed on Terminus uh, <laughs> in Atlanta because. It was it was a very uh, simple contract, mm-hmm. you know. It was like, you know, it, d- it didn't have too much. It didn't have any um, like we. Uh, it was kind of like you guys can do whatever you want. You just have to release it with us, right? And so I liked that because it didn't put a lot streaming of streaming only or like even through physical media. So yeah, that's. I mean, he's supposed. We're supposed to do physical media, right? But I think it's kind of like. Uh, he just kind of facilitates it. Gotcha. And we have to come up with, like, the ideas. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, like for that. sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And so, I, you know. You when know, you're using so a label for great. production, you're it's all on you. Exactly. They just facilitate. Yeah. yeah. They're, they're just, you know, helping promote it. And Which help. is kind of the best. It's yeah. kind of the best, really. It is. Because your it's, vision it's, gets made. Yep. And they get you to the point where you can get it made. Exactly. Yep. That's the best way. Yep. And, and it's just... And, you know, we, we have full control over everything. Mm-hmm. We, you know, if we didn't release anything, you know, we wouldn't be, like, violating anything. Right. You know, so it's just, it was nice to sign, like, a first contract of, like, you know, we're not really tied down to anything. Right. You know, we can still do us. And you can take your time and invest yep. in yourself. And, like, get a van. Yep. You know, exactly. start doing these runs, mm-hmm. whatever you want to call it, a tour run. You know, yeah. Hit, Hit up three, you know, fr- Friday, Saturday, Sunday, yep. you know, or Thursday, Friday, Saturday, yep, and just build audiences in these side markets. Right, you know, we're attached to five states. I know it's, and that's what's great about Arkansas. Yeah, it's so centralized, you know, and, and we live in the center of it. So it's just exactly draw a circle on a fucking yep. map and just do that, and then make the circle bigger. Yep. When fifty people start showing up to the first circle, mm-hmm. just make a second circle. Exactly, you know. Yep. And that's kind of we're trying to hit all the surrounding mm-hmm. areas. You know, we did the first run we did was in te- it was solely in Texas, which if you've ever done a like a tour, uh, you in could Texas, do a month. You can do a fucking you, month. You could. I mean, it's unbelievable. There's so much. I mean, there's it's, so many towns. That fucking. I've driven all the way across that state. I'm from yeah. there multiple okay. times, and it is just it's endless. It's yep. fucking endless. It is. It is. You, you're like. You know, we so we. we I'll be the, there in like four hours. Exactly. Yeah, I'm yeah. leaving from here and driving to t- yep. damn near Dallas. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> we booked these three shows. It was uh, San Antonio, Laredo, Laredo, yeah, and Austin. And it was like it was like. Where y'all play in Austin? Uh, at the ballroom. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, that that place is super cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, San Antonio was at this place called uh, Snake Hill, and it was like a bar. It was kind. Of, it was a really weird setup, but the show was sick. San Antonio's dope. It is, yeah. Dope city. It was a cool, it's a cool city. Yeah. But cool you layout. look at it on the map and you're like, you know, you're like, oh yeah, so the next show's in Laredo. You know, you look at it and you're like, oh, it's not that far. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. Three hours from <laughs> yeah, San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. And there's nothing. No, no. No. Barren. Yep. Yeah. Not a tree, not a there's blade billboards. of fucking grass. Yeah. <laughs> there's billboards. And it's funny because like, 100 Laredo, miles next gas. <laughs> yes, yes. Laredo is basically Mexico. Mm-hmm. And, uh, so it was funny. We were we were going we were going from San Antonio to Laredo, and there were billboards like every ten miles, and it was like English, like on the billboards. And then as we got closer to Laredo, it was like English Spanish. Yep. And then it swapped them, and then it was Spanish on top, then English. Right. And by the time we got to Laredo, it was only Spanish. Yeah. <laughs> And I was like, you okay. Just break your phone out, <laughs> translating everything. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. So what am I even? You know, I can't yeah. read Spanish. So, uh, but that show was cool. They 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 run on true punk time there. It'll we, happen when it happens, dude. Yes. Guys outside yep. smoking three cigarettes at the same time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like doors <laughs> opened, and um, there was no one there. It was a cool place. I can't remember. It was called the Wonder Lounge. I think they changed. Oh, that their sounds name. cool. But yeah, it was a cool, really cool place. They had a sound system, which is always a plus. Did it have a smell? Uh, I'm sure it did. Yeah. <laughs> the bathroom was. Punk venues typically have a fucking odor that yeah, you're yeah. like, Woo, The bathroom buddy. was just a metal trough. Yeah, and yeah. So, you know, I was like, do I take a shit here? Communal or what? pissing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it, but it was a cool place. And, and yeah, doors open, no one there. Showtime, no one's there. Yeah. I'm like, and they're like, and we, we go up to the promoter guy, and we're like, so what's the deal? And he's like, he's like, oh, 
Don't worry about it. They we're gonna start s- rolling in about ten. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna start in about an hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like already nine. Yeah, and we're like, oh shit, <laughs> great. Then we get to drive back to San Antonio because we had booked a hotel there. So, oh shit. Yeah. So it was like ten o'clock and people start showing up and it was a lot of people actually. Nice. And yeah, and so so I think I think people I think we started playing about ten. I think we went on about eleven thirty. Mm. And then, you know, by the time we got done, it was midnight. Right. I was like, and there was all, I mean, it was packed by then. I was like, this is true punk time. Uh Uh-huh. And they just show up. Like, even while we were playing at, like, 1130, people were rolling in. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. It was, uh, it was a cool show. And, uh, but we, it was the first time we got an encore. That'll get you back to San Antonio, too. You ride that high. Yeah, yeah. The adrenaline. Exactly. Uh Yeah. By the time we got back, it was four, four in the morning. (laughs) We got three hours in this hotel y'all already paid for. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) So we, uh, but we, we, this was the first time we got an encore. Everybody there speaks Spanish primarily. So mm-hmm. we were we were standing up there, we were like, all right, we're turning off our amps and they were like, Ooh no mas. Ooh no mas. Uh, uh, uno mas one like, more. Yeah, 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 I, was yeah. Like, I was like I was like, I think that means one more, right? <laughs> and they were like, Well, we don't have a song. I was like, Ah, let's just play something, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> so So we played an encore and you know but yeah, that's that show was cool. That whole run was cool and uh yeah, and then this the run with Zash was super cool. The we uh, after we tried to sleep in the van, you know, mm. we went to like a Planet Fitness, and I, yeah, I, you know, like a couple of people had memberships. And uh, smart, take some showers. Yes, yeah. yes. We we stayed showered the whole time, and uh, which is nice because ten dudes in a van. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah. I'm that guy. I'm the stinky one. Oh yeah, I did it on purpose. We did nine days, and I didn't shower once. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was disgusting. But I'm also that guy. Oh, it happens. I'm also that guy that will, like, per, like I'm, I'm not going to shower. And I wanted to live the whole thing. So I was sleeping in the trailer. Mm-hmm. Did y'all have a trailer? Yeah. Okay, thank God. Yeah. Uh, sleeping in the trailer, sleeping on the ground, like anywhere I could sleep that wasn't comfortable. I just wanted to experience the whole thing. I was like, what if I never get to do this again? Uh, yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's kind of how I was. But, you know, people were like, ah, we need to get an adult room. It's so like, much I, more comfortable. They have internet. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, we just got a couple, like, motels or whatever. And so, you know, we didn't lose money. We didn't make money, per se. That's good. You know, hey, so. if you can break even, mm-hmm. that's a that's a win. We do really well with merch. Like, I don't know what it is. You know, our designs are, good designs, are pretty man. good. Yeah. yeah. Like, Tinsley makes a lot of our designs. Would y'all have, do y'all have the balloon one? Is that y'all with the balloon shirt? It's like... Almost like a cartoon. We do have. We have like a one, like a cute one. A cute one. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. got it's like, like it's got like something. pink chainsaws. That's it. it. That's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so uh, yeah, Tinsley made that one, and uh, that one did super well. Of course it did. Yeah. I, like I mean, I feel like that I scene can't... style of merch is starting to creep back in. We're like these yeah. outlandish things. Yeah. And the cutesy thing is mm-hmm. definitely starting to take over. Yeah. For sure. You're seeing it in a lot of bands merch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, the back of the shirt says like Little Rock Death. It's like pink chainsaws. Yeah. Yeah, it's good merch for sure. Good design. And uh and it's I mean it sold it the original run we did sold the first show. Damn. Yeah. And so um most of our like artwork I buy f- off off of Instagram. Right. I like there's a lot of uh like Vietnamese Artists, artists, yeah, yeah, that sell you, their art. You just buy like the piece, or do you commission? Yeah, no, I just buy, I just find just like these artists and something like, buy that just piece. rings a bell, and you're like, oh, awesome. Yeah, yeah, I did that with uh, Lame Johnny's album. Cover. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's like super cheap, and I feel bad because like I'll buy it's like this. Probably a lot to them though. I mean, if it's in Vietnam, that's exactly you know, yeah, yeah, fifty, the do- 50 dollars yeah. to them is probably a lot. Definitely like, a difference for sure. So it's probably fair. Yeah. yeah, it probably is. I usually try to tip them. Um, but, always, yeah, right, always, and so the uh, you know that's where I buy a lot of our, a lot of our like shirt. All right, I've got a, we got a few like in the in the bag right now. I'm waiting to use. Nice, but <laughs> yeah, our merch. I don't know what it is. We just we do pretty well. I mean, even even at our local shows, still we sell you know, a good amount of merch, which is merch is important, man. That's good. That's is. a good thing, especially when you're starting to hit the road. That's a because that's most that's where it's, most of your money comes exactly, from. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, we made like. You know, you, you drive all the way to fucking Georgia and you play in front of seven people. 
Well, the promoter's going to be like, well, here's your $8. Yeah. Well, okay, well, we sold seven T-shirts, so right. we made 70 bucks or whatever the you yeah. know, cost of exchange versus whatever it costs to make it, whatever it is. Yeah. Well, shirts are like 30 bucks now, so. Yeah, we, I, I try to, try not to be too expensive. Uh-huh. Uh, I do uh, help uh, do IT. So I, I'm a an applications administrator at a liquor distributor. Okay, fancy. Uh, yeah, I know. It's 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 a What does that even mean? You so, you, you make the cash register work good? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a uh, it's like a I guess it's just IT, you know, like I'm a database administrator. Oh, I see. Yeah, so okay. uh so like I work at Moon Distributors, which mm. is a like uh, a liquor distributor for the whole state of Arkansas. Uh, and in Arkansas, we have what's called a franchise state, which means yeah. that for liquor, you can only sell or only one distributor can sell that liquor. So like we have Smirnoff and we are the only company that can like, distribute, distribute Smirnoff. Smirnoff. Yeah. What the fuck? So yeah, we have. And that's a big one. Yeah, we have a lot of big ones. Wow. I mean, we got, you know, pretty much any of the big ones you can think Sounds of. pretty cutthroat. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It's very monopolize yeah 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 go figure if they want to leave us they have to like pay a huge fine of course and i they think do. and i think we make the fine. one million dollars exactly. yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's uh but it's a you know it's a good time but the family who owns it owns a lot of other companies they own like eagle bank uh yeah <laughs> they're bankers and liquor distributors they have so much fucking money yes they do <laughs> And uh, but they're really nice people. Okay, like, like I work with them. Very nice people. Cool. Good uh, to know. Good down to, know. to earth. You know, like the owner, like the owner of the uh-huh. company. AC goes out. He's already got the ladder and he's in the ceiling. Like that's looking. sick. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So he's awesome. a really nice guy. He owns a, a, a t-shirt company called Trivia Marketing. Okay. Um, a couple of people get their stuff. I think Morbid Visions has got their stuff done there before, but we I've get all our stuff done there. Yeah, it's on Markham. Um, okay. They do really good work. It's, you know, so I do their IT, so I get a little bit of a discount. Right. So it is nice. I think we printed, like, our last, like, black and white shirts for, like, four bucks a shirt. Damn. Yeah. That's cost, and man. That's with buying the shirt, too. Oh, my God. Yeah. So I do get, a you know, a pretty good discount there. So I try to keep our prices not too expensive. Oh, uh, yeah, not too yeah. Like, pass it along. Pass the favor along. Exactly. I like that. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I obviously, we still got to try to pay the bills. Right. Exactly. You know. Especially if you're going to be touring now. And now you have a... Did y'all buy the van or did we you did get a payment? Okay, yep. good. Yeah, we bought it outright. Payments suck. I got the title in the mail there you yesterday. Go. Uh, Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm trying to be, like, official with the whole thing. I have an LLC for our band already. Damn. Yeah. So, it's like... One year. I know. The I'm fuck? very... in. I, I try like to very be very detail oriented. I'm detailed, yes. Yeah, yeah I, I I run like all our pages and stuff. So it's well, you're already on a computer all day, I assume. That's most of your exactly. time is spent staring at screens. Exactly. Yeah. So you know, it's a it helps knowing technology too. You know. And, God, I wish. Yeah. I missed it all, man. Yeah. I stare at a screen for two hours. I'm like, I gotta take a nap. This is ridiculous. There, My yeah, eyes hurt. There's a lot of uh, like things. You learn, like I wear computer glasses all day, oh. which are like, which like block out like the bad light. Yeah, the blue light. The blue light. Yeah, yeah. and that that really helps. Really, um, I wear them all day, like every day. So it's that really helps with that staring at the, the screen fatigue, all day. That yeah. screen fatigue. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And interesting. Yeah. So yeah, but you know, I try to, I try to make make the band like as official as as official as I could. You know, I mean, we were selling like a lot of merch there for a I minute. I feel like you're like that meme. If your bass player looks like this, shit's about to yeah, get wrecked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like you're exactly. you're that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you show I'm a, with your I'm blue, a nerd. your blue like, blockers on. Yeah, and you're yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> your your laptop satchel, and you're like, "Hey guys, I'm ready." And you plug yeah. in, and just the whole room explodes. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's the goal. You yeah. know, so <laughs> keep them full to the last second. Right. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a good time though, you know. And we made like a good amount of money on one show, and I was like, I don't know what to do with all this money. Put it back and in the so, thing. Well, yeah, exactly. You put it back in the band, and um, so until was, one day you don't have to. You always hear about bands right. when they're on the come up, and they'll get that first check where it's like five grand, and it's like, no, that's your check. That's right. your cut. Yeah. Oh my God, I got a cut. Uh, right. I think the only <laughs> cut I ever got was enough to get like some Waffle House. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> 
hey guys, we made 50 bucks. Do we want to get stickers or do we want to eat tonight? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that's what's great about Vino's though, because they, you know, they they give you food. We don't know how good we have it. When you leave this place and you go out other places, you're like, damn, and we have it nice, free man. Free beer, free, free pizza. food. And the hang is great. The, the staff is, great. is awesome as fuck. Like it's so good. And then you show up to the elbow room and you're like, you mm-hmm. fucking stink. Exactly. You know, you yep. suck. This whole place sucks. Yep. Beers are like eight dollars. Yeah, they're charging you a full price, maybe even yep. extra. They're like, well, there's a bunch of you, so we added gratuity. Like, right. You, exactly. Yeah. We're playing. We're here. playing. Yeah, we're making you money. <laughs> <laughs> we're bringing people in. Yeah. Yeah, they, it, v, I, we played a good amount of places at this point, and yeah, Vino's is just... It's a gem. It is a it's gem. A solid gem. It is a gem, and very we're very appreciate, appreciative towards them. Yeah. You know, and so, but... Now, now if the AC would just run a little better, and it's summertime, it's so baby. so hot on stage. Already. Yeah, just run. Well, it's just, it runs. When you get there early, sound check, yep. you're like, it feels pretty good in here. Yep. By the time 150 people walk in the room, it's over, man. Yep. The walls are sweating. Yep. The floor is just wet. Yep. <laughs> Everything's wet. You feel fucked the floor up. Does yeah. Get wet. Yeah. Dude, it, like it bleeds water. Yep. You're just, what is fucking happening? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I know these June shows are going to be so Dude. hot. There's probably going to be close to 200 people at that next fight metal show. Oh, yeah. And oh, it's going to be so hot. Um, yeah. And everybody is, everybody, like physical body is moving. Yep. And not just from the, you know, half the crowd is a mosh pit, but just the, oh no, and the just the movement of it all. Mm. Beat the hot pizza ovens, all that adds to it. And it's yep. just like, oh my God. Nothing, nothing beats that when you kick the door open. Yep. It's like 100,000 degrees, you kick the door open. It's 90 outside, yep. but it feels like the AC's on. Yep. And you just lay up against the bricks real quick. Uh. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wish they. I wish there was just a, a better way to do merch there. That's the only my only complaint. space limitations, I know, man. I, I wish, you know, they had like a room off to the side or something. I think, I think, in my head, the way I see it, it's 2023. Everything is digital. Mm. You got to get rid of that sound booth. Yeah, you don't need it. You right. put the mixer up in the fucking rafters or in the back. Yep. And you use a fucking iPad, mm. you know. It's just like well, that's, yeah, that's what Growlers does. We you were, just whenever we were just there, they they got and like then a little that adds that whole uh-huh. section, and you leave that little wall, yeah. and you turn that into the ticket booth. Even four- right, oh, four yeah. quarter does I've it. I've not been there. I, I've only been there once, and it wasn't for a show. It was okay. to eat like a it was like a a band meeting. Yeah. So a biz, like a business sure, lunch, you lunch, know, we were yeah, real, we'll write it off, we know? were all just drunk, basically like, yeah, that's a great yeah, idea. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, th- I yeah. think there's a, there's a thing you don't want to lose as mm. technology comes in. I'm the oh, dude, I'm world's worst. Like I hate, I'm like, AI is dumb, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Like this is stupid. Fuck Spotify. I'm that right. guy, but I still understand Mm-hmm. That time marches on and doesn't give a fuck what you don't like about it, you know? Mm-hmm. And really, with the space limitation they have, we have the technology where you can you could bump the standing room in there by another 25, 30 people. Oh, yeah. By simply removing that thing mm-hmm. and having... Uh, and it would just be so much cleaner, yeah. you know? It would. It, it's nice because there's places we played where the merch... They're, they're, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, the merch is like out back. Right. And you got to go put your merch out back. And it's like, no one is going to see this. So it is nice that, like, while you're standing there watching the bands, the merch is, like, right there. Right. You know, so people. Yeah, it doesn't work at Vino's. We tried, and it failed miserably. Right. <laughs> right. Put yeah. it out back. We, we did. Oh, yeah. We had a whole thing, too. Yeah. It wasn't just some bands. It was, we got vendors came in. Like, okay. it was a whole, we took over the back. Oh, yeah. And it was cool as fuck. Yeah. But no it was just that, well, this is where we hang out. I don't want to buy t-shirts when I'm smoking. Right, sure. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, the connection doesn't mm-hmm. work unless it's, this is what it is permanently. And then maybe the shift, you know, it takes a little while for people right. to, I'm so used to this thing. Now I'll start doing it. True. Yeah. There's a little bit of human behavior in, in, in that too. Yeah. But there's things that could happen. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean that, I mean, yeah, we have played some shows, and it's just like 
And we didn't sell anything because it was like out back. Uh-huh. So, I mean, I could see that. I always thought maybe that room to the left wouldn't be bad. But, um, but again, it's away from the show. Yep. It's like there's no good spot to really put There's it. really not. You know, Only but, thing that really is just accept, like using the available space. It's like a camper. Mm-hmm. You have a seat's a fucking drawer. It's that way because it's utilizing all the space to the exactly. maximum potential. Yeah. And you kind of just do that with the hallway that you have been given. Right. Or maybe make a merch spot. It's like you can be in a band, but none of this stuff. We have a pegboard up. You hang mm-hmm. your shirts on our peg. Here's the hangers that are specifically for this. You hang mm-hmm. it up. They're already there. So it's kind of like maximizing the space potential. Right. I'm just riffing. Yeah. I'm just riffing. That, shit, that would be sick, though. It would be. And you yeah. come in, there's already fucking lights built in. Mm-hmm. It's a light switch. The ticket guy's right there beside you, so no one's, cl- you know, like, hey, let mm-hmm. me steal that small, mm-hmm. you know? I'm always so worried about that. People stealing merch. Just, the buckets are just oh. right there. Yeah, yeah, they, they are. They you are. know? I'm always worried about, like, our, like, cash box. You know, oh, like, dude, yeah. Yeah. Now, do not leave that anywhere. <laughs> no, and, and I, had, I ended up getting, um... Uh, like every, like we'd have, you know, everybody in the band run the, the cash box and I only had like one key and I was like, you know, tired of giving people my keys. Oh dude. Cause then they get lost, whatever. So I got this, uh, merch box that has like a keypad on it. Yep. And every time I'm like, every time someone gives me money, I'm like, you know, <laughs> like, hey, don't look at my key, you know, my, my code. Dude. So, <laughs> and it's super loud. It's like, beep, beep, beep. <laughs> They're like, I know those beeps. That's four six two one, man. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So I was gonna fucking. Well, at least if I if somebody's trying to get in it and I'm across the you room, hear the beep. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> so at least I'm, I'll I'll know that someone's trying to get in it. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. They didn't give me a merch box. We did. Me and Kurt went to. Uh, furnace vest with Norma Jean. Oh, yeah. They didn't give me one, so I was using my backpack as a money satchel. Yeah. Dude, I had one, like, if I wasn't talking to someone, I had, like, a fist on that bag, just yeah. terrified, man. Fucking stuffing. stuffing I mean, <laughs> both front pockets. Kurt was like, how much money? They? I opened it up. He's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what yeah. are you doing? I was like, they gave me this shitty box. Yeah. I don't have anywhere to put it. Right. <laughs> For Norma Jean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's sick. And I'm just yeah. like, I've got my pockets open and I'll stuff it in there and then like zip it up with one hand trying to talk to people. Mm-hmm. Terrified out of my mind, you yeah. know, please God, don't let somebody run through here and steal this. Right. Ugh, that yeah. was... you, you'd hope that, you don't really hear about it, so <coughs> you'd hope that. <coughs> well, I've heard some horror stories of bands getting robbed on the road and it's just, dude. Well, gear is the big. That's the big one. We were so... Or whole trailers are huge, because you can't lock up a trailer, man. There's just yep. no good way to do it. No. Uh, the best thing we did is I got two, like, high shackle locks. Yeah. And, you know, I, like, locked the chains to the van. Yep. And that was the... That's the best you can do. Best but... you can do. But anyone with a damn cordless screw gun now, yep. it's so simple because tools have become... You know, they're super powerful now yep. with the battery. They just walk up in an instant. Yeah. Just gone. Yep. Or loppers just lop the whole side of the thing off. Yep. Just there it goes. And then the, what they do is they'll chop it off, leave the thing on the trailer on your hitch, mm-hmm. and then they'll just chain it to theirs. And just all they need to do is get away. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. They're, yeah. There's just no good way to do it. I got like an air tag in my um, like Smart. guitar case. So See, those luckily, are things that are new that yes. are good to utilize. Yes. Put one in everything. Right. They're not that expensive. You get no. a four pack for like what a fifty bucks or something. Yep, and just you know randomly put them in stuff. Yep. I like tried to hide it like kind of underneath like the fabric. You mm-hmm. know, that's really all you can do. We and we now were. We know where to find it. Well, <laughs> what what I back in the day, back in the Dizay, I would pull my pickups out mm-hmm. and I would write my name under the pickup right. and then put it back. So if you found it at a pawn shop, mm-hmm. which actually did happen to me, oh yeah, I was able to pull out the pickup and prove it. Why was is yours? my fucking name in the thing? Right. You know? Yeah. Well, that, it's yeah. kind of like the days of the poor man's copyright. Right. You know, where you mail it to yourself. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's mine. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. post dated, bitch. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Two thousand and two. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. That's. I mean. That we were so worried about, like especially at like the hotels, because we mm-hmm. couldn't see oh, the trailer. You know? Some cities now, uh, I know when we went to Memphis last, they have a guest parking lot, and we parked in there, mm-hmm. and they gate it. Oh, okay. And then it's like a security guard twenty four seven. Nice for the hotel. Yeah. That made me feel so good. Yeah, 
Yeah, Growlers has a pretty out back, uh, you know. Are they still in that weird small little building with like almost no front parking? Mm-hmm. Like four cars can fit up front? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's a cool venue. It's just, you know, the the scene there, I, I really don't I really don't understand. I think, I think it's dying. Yeah, I think people show up for big bands. And that that's it. And that's it, yeah. yeah. And so um I don't they just don't really have a whole lot of the bands like the band we played with. Which is weird because it's such a musical city. Yeah. It is. And you know, I don't know. We've been there twice now. Yeah. We played like our fourth show ever. At, I've played in Memphis twice and both was yeah. a super bust. Yeah. This last one wasn't like a super bust. I mean, like I would consider a super bust like we sold no merch. Yeah, that was uh, that was yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. I think we sold one at the one. Yeah. It was not great. Yeah. And, and one so. we played to the homeowner who was a house show. Right. And the local <laughs> band left. They were like, We're going oh. to get beer. We we're like, okay. And then they never came back. Yeah, I can never get that <laughs> like with local like local bands leaving, you know. I mean, I get it if you you know, some people they got jobs, whatever, sure. Fair, that's fine. Yeah. But they were just like they showed up. They mm. came to the show. Oh. I was like, oh cool, we're gonna head over to the liquor store right here. Yeah. And then they just never came back. <laughs> so, wow. Okay. Where, and where was that? This was in Memphis. Yeah, what it was, was just at a house. Oh, it was a house, okay. Yeah, it was a house yeah. show. We ended up playing to the homeowner and her daughter and like their three friends that they brought. Okay. It's fun. Yeah. Whatever. It was bad yeah, practice. I mean, Sometimes you play those shows and they're just fun. You know, you, know? you just make the best of it. Exactly. Or you just get mad, which sometimes I get mad. I try not. Yeah, sometimes I get mad. Sometimes I'll get mad. But, you know, you know, sometimes it's you just got to go with the flow. Yeah. You yep. just, it's better. It is better, though, right? It like is. Going with the flow just makes the night easier. But sometimes yep. my anger gets the best of me. Oh, and yeah. I just cannot help myself but be pissed the fuck off to yep. no end. Because I'm like, how is this a business? Yes. How is it this shitty? And you have – the lights are fucking on. I know a thousand people that can run a business better than this, and they don't get these chances. Mm-hmm. Why would you own something and make it fucking suck? Yeah. Isn't it supposed to be, like, the funnest thing in the world? Exactly. Some yeah. people just don't care. They start stuff, and they're just like, eh. They abandon it. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oof. So, so plan is just to tour more, huh? Just keep yeah, on getting out? Yeah, for sure. Um, Full on touring or like date? No. Like, like runs? Like runs. Runs. Yeah, runs are the goal. I mean, like, nowadays I think that a lot of a lot of bands try to do like the full tour thing too early. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, just like just from what I, I, I look at a lot of underground artists and a mm-hmm. lot of like I, I try to pay attention to the scene, right? And um, I think a lot, a lot of people get burnt out. They go on like, you know, a week and a half long tour, and it doesn't do very well or whatever. So they, they burn their self out. Like they yeah. don't understand this is like a long con. Yes, or I they gotcha. don't, or they're trying to do it like just them, and they're they're trying to play these like <sighs> no. big cities where like. No one really cares about them unless you have like a really good promoter. Well, or you got like a popped off on the internet, like yes. you got a, the hot TikTok or whatever right. the fuck it is, or a, or a viral video. Yeah, well, I will. Well, we we've played with a couple of TikTok bands before, and I'll tell you what, people don't show up to those. Sometimes shows. it doesn't translate, dude. It doesn't. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's it does all not kids. translate. Yeah, like like kids who can't get into bars. But sometimes know? views are just passive things. It's just mm-hmm. a funny thing. Yeah. Because most most time it's like, oh, check out this neat thing. Mm-hmm. I'm not actually interested in this. This is some mom. Yeah, she got a life. She doesn't give a fuck about the thing. That it's just like, oh, look, that's interesting. That's neat. And then she shows Barbara, and then Barbara shows her husband, or whatever right. the fuck. <clears throat> so yeah, the translation is pretty hard for yeah. sure. Yeah, and especially for like heavy metal specifically, <laughs> yeah. you know, it's you know, it's <laughs> hard to even yeah, back like whenever I was a kid, you. I remember there was this one show that Fox and his brother were going to. It was a uh, uh, it was a uh, all that remains or something. Oh, okay. It was like all that remains and like five finger death punch. Oh my lord! Yeah, it was. It was, was this a riverfront show? No, it was at uh, what was that? What is that old? It's an it's an arena that's not there. Anymore. Oh, Barton. No, Barton. It's there. They just don't use it. Okay. Yeah. It was at Barton, and um, asbestos. My mom would just not let me go. She was, was like, the shit, dude. Yeah. My favorite venue still in this place. Yeah. How many I, I wish to God. Oh, like 5,000. 5,000. It's okay. a, what do they call it? State is Martin Coliseum. It's a Coliseum. Right. Dude, I love that place. The sound, the mm-hmm. sound in there is so fucking rad, but it is asbestos. 
And that's why. I think that's why. Yeah, now sure. all they do is the, the, the bull riding shit there. Okay. I think that's all they There's do. Like a couple of shows. Like well, concert? Like, oh. Stuff that doesn't fit so if they're bringing it back, I will gladly go because it's like that whole, like, the, blues festival thing they have, the sound. There. The sound in there is unbelievable. It's the perfect shape. I mean, Elvis fucking Presley. Oh, that's where everyone played. Yeah. If yes. they came through, do everyone, fucking. everyone. I was thinking about that shit this morning. Where I was feeding it? my dog. It, it's in. Uh, it's not near like Seventeenth Street. Okay. Kiss released like a lot from Barton. I mean, maybe. Dude, the sound there is undeniable. Mm-hmm. I saw Corn there. And yeah. they broke the Guinness Book of World Records for the loudest concert. Oh. But it only lasts like a week because then they did it again. Right, right, And right. now it's been broken a bunch of times. Yeah, yeah. But for that one night, and it was just the most magical sounding, powerful. Yeah. The whole place is concrete and steel, and it's just big. It sounds nice. big as shit. Yeah, I've not, I've, I, yeah, I haven't seen anything there. Uh, I saw long, so They've not been doing bands. shows there for a while. Long time. Yeah. That was when I was in like... The eleventh grade. Okay, so this would have been like two thousand. Okay, two thousand and one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This was like this would have been like. So maybe, you were probably like five. Yeah, two thousand. Yeah, I would yeah. have been like five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the yeah that this was like probably like twenty ten, and I was like, Mom, I gotta go. You right, know? and um, she wouldn't let me go. And uh, well, I mean, that was probably around the time when it was starting to get. You just don't go down there. Yeah, yeah, right. And that was probably why high crime rate all that shit. Little Rock, or yeah. whatever. You know, I, now I, growing up, so me and Fox and and his brother were were actually from Cabot. Uh, we grew up. Hey in yo, Cabot. my yeah. mom used to live in Cabot. Oh yeah, yeah. It's cheap. Back when there was like that dirt airport runway. Yep. Remember that? Thing? They're still there. Is it really? Yep. It's, Holy so shit! So it's right next to a. Uh, it's like on the bottom. main fucking road, it, which now yeah. the main road is. It's huge. You go there now, yep. I can't even believe that that's the same place. Yep. There was. Oh, I'll go the I'll, McDonald's and then go up and there was like a like a, a, a where you sell plants and shit, a plant nursery yeah, yeah. and then that strawberry picking place. Yep. And that was about fucking it. And the church up on the left at yep. the four way there. Mm-hmm. That was it. Yep. That was all of Cabot. That was how it was whenever I was a kid. And then like <laughs> 20,000 people moved there in a in like it, a year. Yep. It was crazy. Yep. I think it was from my understanding, it's really just the school. Oh the really? That brought all the people. The whole town. Uh, they built the they built the high school. It's huge now. It looks like a college campus. That's where my brother uh, graduated from. Oh, okay, was yeah. Cabot. Yeah, and uh, it's it's massive. And I think people were just like, "Oh, Cabot's a good school, uh-huh. so we moved there." You know? and they had a good athletics program too, which yep. that always boosts a small town. Right. Yep. So that that really, so yeah. We grew. I lived there my whole childhood. We grew up there. Um, probably about like. I don't know, maybe eighth grade. We got into like heavy music, mm-hmm. and uh, the first band that got me into heavy music was Parkway Drive. Okay, and it was like it was like right whenever their first. Them like, boys is heavy. Yeah, Dude. they were. I hate Are they them not now? now? Oh, no. I don't. I don't know. I haven't kept up with them in a long time. Them. Really? Did y'all listen so to the bad. cringiest shit that new Avenged Sevenfold? Oh, it's so bad. It's the worst sounding thing I've ever it's heard so in my awful. life. I can't believe that that's Avenged Sevenfold. It's uh, and I grew up. I, I a, cannot believe you know, it. It doesn't it, even make sense. What? Who the yep. fuck? It's just I, what I people are know. doing nowadays. Uh, what making uh, garbage? Well, that's pop unbelievable. Music. Pop music, but that is like yeah. even the quality of the recording is fucked. Yep. It's sometimes <laughs> it's like, dude. Every band in Arkansas, you go listen. They they sound ten thousand times better. Yeah. How does a band on a major label put that out? How did that pass? You you know, so I guess you're just in the studio sometimes. You're like, this sounds great. That does happen. Yeah. The loss. I've, I mean, I've done no, that. And when you're covered by Yes Men, yep. there's no one telling you, hey, this this sounds fucked up. Yep. That's got to be what the thing it is. Has to it's be. so insane. And that, that's how I feel about the like newer the Park Parkway Ridge, stuff. Really? Yeah, it's, it's I awful. guess I need to go listen to it. It's awful. I just remember the old stuff. It's like, like the, weird, like... The ocean on the front of it? Yeah, yeah. It's cursive. Deep Blue. Uh-huh. Deep Blue, yeah. That, that, that album, like... That was it? That was it, yeah. Did that, you see them live ever? I have not seen them live. They have not... That's unfortunate. Come here, a long time. They they did. They did maybe at the village. Okay, I worked it long time ago. Long time ago. Yeah. So that was probably whenever my mom wasn't letting me go to. Well, this shows. would have been around like the 08, 10. Okay, like this. That's probably same, whenever I got into them. The same era. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, they got me into it. I remember like one like I think Fox had gotten into it and they showed one of my other, our other friends. He was like, he's like, 
he was like, man, check out this weird shit that Fox is into. Mm -hmm. And he showed me, he showed me like one of their early songs. And I was like, this is awesome. (laughs) You know, I guess it was. Yeah. (laughs) This shit is brutal, man. Yeah. And so that's what got me into it. And we were, I mean, we were into all that stuff. We, like I said, growing up, we just, I moved to Jonesboro for four years to go to college. Okay. And there's nothing up there. Nope. And I mean, there's a couple of bands. I think there is now. Right. It's yeah. another one of those wasn't anything until there was and now it's like, yeah. oh, it's another city shit. Yeah. They I know they've done shows at Cregan's up there, but I've heard they don't do that anymore cuz of something to do with like the sound or I can't remember. I don't know. Yeah, I heard it's the like same. It's like three thing. flights of stairs uh-huh. you got to carry your shit up. No, thank you. Yeah, no. Too old for that shit. And then I think they got like one place. But at the time like whenever I went to college 9 years ago, it's like Texarkana was they used to have like four places, and now they have yeah. no places. Yeah, it's. I mean, heavy music wise, right now we're very limited. <laughs> it's so strange. Yeah. It is strange because when there was less, we had way more. Yep, and it was yeah. abundant as fuck. Mm-hmm. It's so weird. It is weird. It's weird how that works, it but is. that's probably what's keeping these shows so fucking rad too. Right. Like less venue. Maybe it is a good thing. Maybe it is. You know. Yeah. I mean, like yeah, it's like Vino's for the second time this month, but. There's fucking 150 people in this room both and, times. And there might be 50 people that you've never seen before. These days, they're 100% yeah. on. Yeah. I mean, the, every time we play a show, I'm like looking around, and I'm like, I don't know any of these people. None of them. It's so, you know, they're coming up that's to That's good our, to know, because you're young, too. Like, yeah. young-ish. Yeah. You're on the cusp there, and that's good yeah. to know you're still like, yeah, I don't know half these people. Oh, no. Thank God. <laughs> oh, no. We've been going to, like, every heavy show for, like, the past, like, year and a half. Uh-huh. And every show I go to, it's like, who are these people? <laughs> you know, uh, which is great. Oh, it's, oh, it's amazing. It's, I mean, and it's you, amazing. You know, you bring your friend, and they like it, and they come back. They you get, know? they get what we got. You yeah. hear that thing, or you see that thing, and you just go, "Oh my god, yeah. Billy, you've got to come with me to yeah. the next one." I promise. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was like that. Uh, I still do that with shit, like the wrestling shit that's going on. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna go to this. I haven't been to one yet. Go to this one. I'm gonna dude. go My to band's this one. Playing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta stay. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I'm I, no, I'm definitely going to that one. It's gonna be so much fun. Yeah. I, it's they're not doing a death match at this one, which is the one that's just the most crazy. Mm-hmm. But every time is so. Do I need to buy a ticket? Or uh, I will say you out? might. Okay. I mean, the last one was like this close, okay. so I think this I'll buy one, a ticket. Yeah. I think this one's going to be pretty damn close again. If not, finally, they'll have like the full set, which, hey, there's a giant ring in the floor. Yeah, I've seen the videos. But they're yeah. keeping the sellout number the same. So oh. by selling out, it has sold out every time, sir, according yeah. to guidelines. Right. But what I'm saying, allegedly, mm-hmm. but what I'm saying is it hasn't sold out according to the number on the damn wall. Right. Which... The last one, you couldn't move in that fucking place. Right. It was unbelievable. Yeah. And this one, I'm hoping, is more of that. I'm looking forward to going to this one, yeah. Oh, yeah I just, a lot of people screaming, showed in his ass. Me, mostly. What, <laughs> couldn't remember why I couldn't make it to the last couple, but yeah, I'm definitely making it. I'm going to every show that week. Are it's you like really? Five shows. Oh my god! Going to every single one of them. <laughs> we'll see you at the thing. You're just, hey, yeah, yeah. Just red face. <laughs> right. <laughs> Haven't slept. Yeah. And we're playing one of them. So, <laughs> you know. oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna try to. I I, I want to support everyone. You know. It's it's awesome and tough all at the same time. It now. is. You know, like, that's so much money. It is. Because if I'm going to Vino's, my whole thing is like, well, I'm gonna eat Vino's. I'm not exactly. gonna not have yeah. at least a so slice. Good too. Oh my god! And it's been the you same know? as long as I can remember. Right. That calzone. Yeah. I've never so not good. had the exact same experience every yep. time I've had one. I've never had a yep. bad one ever. It's it's interesting too because you've ever noticed the the like one slice is like different than their whole pizzas. Yes. It's like thinner and a little bit more cooked. I would say. Well, that's because they it's it's like twice made. They right. have them sitting ready to go. Okay. They pull the slice, put on the ingredients you want, gotcha. and then heat it up. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. It's just for speed. It's just sometimes I'll get the one slice because it's like uh huh you know, and sometimes we'll get the whole pizza. You know, well, yeah, we gotta get we gotta eat there. You know, we like the the meatball sub is great. Oh my god. Um. Everything there. Everything. It's, it's just, it's, it's they don't good. fucking fit. Even their salads. People are like, have you ever had a their Vino salad? Their salads are great. Exactly. See the house saying? salad? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So good. My wife gets it every yeah. time we go. Yeah. yeah. Can yeah. I get a salad? I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And so, yeah, I'm going to try to make it to all those shows. But. That's a yeah. feat. Man. Yeah. 
I'm definitely I'm definitely gonna be at uh, fright uh, fight night. I'm gonna try to make it to all. Is it the? What well, it starts on the ninth, doesn't it? Like everything starts like. So well, so, like so next nine, week 10, and then uh, there's Monday uh, and then maybe it's Jacob's Tuesday. show. Uh, the my children my bride show is oh, next shit. week. That's, that's right, Zashed. Um, that's gonna be ridiculous. Yeah, that's gonna be a good show. Um, uh, the whole run we let um, Zash use like our whole rig, and uh, I'm gonna try on the f- the they, they're you know they're young obviously and yes. their gear is is you know lacking yeah yeah they're uh, young which is uh, understandable so I'm trying to help them I got hey, a man, lot of gear my first shit was a crate yep eight inch I I I learned how to play the bass. GFX <laughs> I learned how to play bass on a crate guitar amp. there you go like an eight inch <laughs> sounded awful awful dude yeah we used to have to build shelves to put them ear level because yep. the drums were so loud yep. and we had that fucking thing on 10 and yep. you just couldn't hear it <clears throat> yeah so my first band band <laughs> yeah. ever yeah, yeah. was in like 10th grade it's it's kind of funny because i don't know him that well but um uh what is his name on facebook um it's greg filth oh yeah uh, greg filth yeah that's yeah greg uh, filth yeah jack yeah. jack yeah so i went to high school with him okay he went by joey in high school okay okay and uh we he may not remember but we were in a band together. Holy shit. Yeah, for like two months. Oh, yeah. We practiced at a church. We had a drummer who didn't know how to play the drums. <laughs> I was just now learning how to play bass. And I was I was bringing my crate eight-inch guitar amp to practice. He had this like 6505 half stack. So it. fucking loud. And I'm over here with my with my little like, you know, I bought my uh, uh, first bass from uh, J-Ville Guitars. Nice. Yeah, as a PDM. Damn. Yeah, what I, a callback! I know, I know, I, I and now they're totally closed. They oh, sold. Oh, for sure, yeah. And then I guess they're totally closed now. But yeah, that used to be the place because like Cabot. It's so hard for a mom and pop to stay around. But go is. shop at Renown. Yes, Guitar Center's awesome, but go shop at Renown. Yes, they're carrying Renown, all kinds of shit now. They have orange. They do amps. really good guitar setups. Oh, um, it's I've phenomenal. had my bass yeah. is set up there. I can do it myself, but sometimes you just need that like extra to touch. That shit. Yeah. You know, like they. That's one yeah, of those things I just job. don't want to do it. I absolutely could learn how to do that and spend yeah. all the time. You do it. Right. It's worth I, the whatever it costs. I'm pretty good at it. I, I call myself uh, Dakota and Killer. I call. Um, I'm his. I'm his uh, guitar tech. Uh-huh. Every time he has a problem, he's like, hey, can you fix this for me? Yeah. My cat's sure, of course. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so I've like, like on the road, like re soldered. Uh-huh. You know, so, uh, you know, but. Yeah, I bought my first bass from there. I brought this great amp to practice. Love it. And Joey was like, man, you got to get something else. <laughs> He's like, I can't hear you at all. I'm like, I can't hear anything else but you. So yeah. I don't know what. Maybe turn yeah. down a little. Maybe right. we get some headphones. Yeah. <laughs> we practiced at a, ch- a church in the middle of nowhere for a while. We were trying to be our, I can't remember can't remember our name, but it was awful. Of course it was. At the time, uh, for today was like huge. Shout out so, to him, man. Yeah, we were yep. we were gonna be like a four today clone. There you go. And so preachy, preachy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we weren't Christian, you know. Like so but, the only thing I didn't like about that band, man, was yeah. the sermon in the middle of the set. Like, come on. Yeah, yeah. I don't got no problems with it at all. No, of course. But not. it was just how long? Yeah, like half the fifteen minutes. My right. God, I, I know. So we we were trying to be like a clone of them. And it just it never came together. They were a good band though. Shit yeah, slap. I like. I, yeah. I kind of missed their being original around. stuff. Yeah, was like really got me into like that kind of deathcore. Mm-hmm. I guess you could call it deathcore. I don't know. Um, There's too many genres now. It, there is. It's my my coworkers like to make fun because they're all old. You listen and to that metal stuff? Yeah, yeah. They like to like metal's what your grandpa listened to, old man. Right, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> this ain't Ozzy Osbourne. It's, it's, this you is know, fucking... this is experimental <laughs> tech death now. Yeah. You know, it's like you don't understand. It's totally death different. Death. Yeah, you show him a Jet you know? song and his left eye falls out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But it's like yeah, Led Zeppelin back in the day. Uh-huh. You know, original metal. It's like nah, man. We got like. No, we got yeah. distortion, Daddy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we're not even playing through real shit anymore. It's no. all computers. Bro, I'll go over to Tommy's house, and he's got this computer simulator thing you plug mm-hmm. in, and just the the amount of sound that comes out of the computer screen. Yeah. I'm just like, uh, we're almost done. Yeah, we're almost done. It's unbelievable. 
Yeah. He's got that thing set up and so finely tuned. Yeah, I try to play uh, through amp sim. Like, we do all our demos with, like, amp sims. Mm -hmm. and it's great drums. for that stuff. I it do, is. too. Yeah. I, I love that. I, mm -hmm. I found a really good bass tone that I actually might... We're doing some Shinfo recordings, mm -hmm. and I was like, this might be the bass tone. I don't know if I'm going to mic a real bass cap. Sometimes it's like that. Well, our so bass tones good. on our on our stuff is uh, it is a real cab mic'd up cab, right. but it's mainly the uh, my dark glass uh, pedal. <sighs> yeah. Shout out to dark glass. I know. My God, we have a dark glass in Crows. It's unreal. It's, I have two of them. Fifty pounds yep. of just. The most tone you'll ever so good. experience in I, your fucking life. I run a 1,200-watt Galleon Kruger amp just to push my dark glass pedals. Right. Like, oh, my and God. So it's, you know, it. my dark glass pedals are, I've got them, like, dialed in. <laughs> They're I so good. I pride myself so in my bass tone. You should. It's, if you're spending money like that, you yes, should. I, I've, I've really dialed. Every show we play, everybody, every, people come up to me, and they're like, man, that bass tone. I'm like, yes, <laughs> that's all I care about. You know, no one comes up to me and tells me my bass, my bass tone's great. I'm doing something wrong. <laughs> okay. So, yeah. Then, but yeah, most of our bass tone is just literally the DI off of the pedal. Mm -hmm. And it's got a cab sim. I've got the, like, dark glass cab loaded in there. Yep. And it sounds so good. Have you seen that Music Man bass that has the switch with yep. it built in? Oh, yes. But it's like four grand. Yes. Shame on you, Music Man. Give me a two two thousand dollar version of that. I know it looks so good though. It does that look gray good. with the. Oh I wish God. I could afford that. <laughs> yeah, <know>. same. <laughs> I mean, I spent a long time trying to find a bass I like. What bass do you have? So it's an Ibanez five string. Okay. Um, is it the it's, BTB? It's not a BTB. It's the like multi scale. I can't remember exactly mm. the model. You know, they got it's one of the newer ones. Yeah, they do. Yeah, it's one. Of, it's a newer model. Um, but it was like a thousand bucks. It's actually Foxes. That's actually kind of where um, you want to be. Thousand yep. bucks, I'm I in mentally, mm -hmm. I'm okay if it gets fucked up. Yep, exactly. This is Any, a, this is I'm okay if it gets anything fucked up. Anything over that. I yep. literally my threshold is nine ninety nine ninety nine, whatever, thousand yep. dollars. Anything over that, this is staying at my house. Exactly. And anything under that, I don't really want to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. Kind of to the age where I'm like, man, a thousand dollars is the right when you plug it in, yep. you don't gotta do nothing, you just jump. Yeah, it, it's it's a, I spent a long time buying way too cheap guitars. Uh -huh. you, know, you, you really, I hate to be like that, but there's a huge difference. And, and there are great cheap ones. There, there are. are great cheap guitars. Are. But I have my Fender Telly, which was a thousand dollar guitar, mm -hmm. and I have my new one, my LTD Black Metal Baritone. Ooh. Dude. Yeah. I'll be, I'll be playing it at the wrestling show. Okay. It's okay. fucking ridiculous. Yeah. And it's my single pickup. Yep. It's the Fishman I run Fluence a single pick, yep, with single the pull tap. Oh my yep. god! Yep. I get so giddy about gear. <laughs> I, I love gear. I'm a gear guy. Yeah, you know I'm this is my, where everyone but musicians tuned out. <laughs> it, it's yeah, right. It's fun. My Ibanez has Bartolini's in it. Nice. You know, yeah, and a lot of people talk a lot of shit about them, and but they're the perfect sound. Like they're like, I don't know, like for the tone that I'm. I've going tried to for. stop doing it. I used to do that so much. Yeah. But it's like, well, if it fits the sound, mm -hmm. it then it fits the sound. Yep. It, I, you know, maybe it's not my like what I would do in my band. Mm. You know, but our band, it's like clearly, and then our guy, he has exactly what fits our sound, which is the classic Fender. Mm. You know, with the regular P pickups in it. It's yep. a P bass. It's beautiful. It's like a fifteen hundred dollar. Yep. I've got a I've got a pretty nice P bass Fender. It's a it's actually it's like a special edition. <clears throat> It was actually it was a, it's a Mexican Fender, but yeah. it's it's like a special edition, so it was kind of expensive. So they they church it up a little bit, yeah. put a little bit better stuff in there. Yep, yeah. and uh, and it sounds great, but I can't use it for open casket. No, 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 it no. just it just doesn't work. You know, just people throwing tomatoes at you. Yeah, get out of here <laughs> exactly. with that. I think I used it one show, and I was so unhappy with the tone. <laughs> I was like, like the whole time, I was like. You oh, no, nah, you might as well die. just play, man. Yep. Yeah, That's what I ended up doing. I was just like, all right, whatever, you know? So I just was super unhappy with it and then got a bunch of them, finally landed on this Ibanez. And, and that's the sound of a true tone guy. Yep. The guy messing with the knobs to match the room versus yep. the just going with the flow. Yep. Yeah. Nowadays, I just plug in, turn right. on. It's perfect. Dark, dark glass is just... It's, it's so good. It's God tier shit. Yep. That's future stuff. Ampeg mm -hmm. had like a nice 80 year run. Mm -hmm. 
And now it's like you see them on Marketplace all the time now. Selling my Ampeg yep. 8x10 because I don't want to carry this fucking, you know, yep. full giant casket up a flight of stairs. Yes. You know. I, well, so I have, I mean, I run a full, I run a 610. And we did a 610 too. Yeah, yeah, I love the 610. It's like half the weight. There's handles. The handle, yes. But the wheels suck. You need to skate. I replaced the wheels. Yeah, yeah. Smart. I got some like rubber casters and smart. pulled the wheels yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> I need to use the bathroom real quick. Do it. All right, cool. How long have we been going, Kurt? What are we at? Yeah. Yes? We've been going yes amount of time. Uh, punks for pause. <laughs> when is it? June 17th? It's coming up. Shit. Oh, actually, this will already be over. This, this, Maybe. it'll have already happened. 2.42. Good. I got... It's 2.42? Okay. Three. I got like 30 minutes. Damn. Well, it was awesome. Thanks, everybody, coming out. Punks for Pause was a mad success. You can still donate. Oh, on Bandcamp. It's not just an event. I mean, it's an ongoing nonprofit thing. Right. And if you want to... Get something for your dollar. You can go to Bandcamp right now. Is it? It's live, right? It's live. It'll continue. It's live. ten dollars. Uh, you get nineteen tracks from nineteen bands, including uh, right nineteen yeah, tracks. Yeah, yeah. Uh, including my band's brand new song, uh, Insignias. Check it out on streaming, but oh, buy it. I believe by the time you're listening to this, it should be name your own price. Oh, okay, so sweet. After the show, he wants to- just change it to like if it's a dollar, it's a dollar. If it's four dollars, it's four dollars. Yeah, that's sick. Donate as much as yeah. Currently it's ten. Awesome. By the time you're hearing this, it'll be name your own price. Okay, cool. Don't forget that we're two weeks ahead now. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is this is the one that sets the bar where it's like we can have some mishaps. So when two weeks? Yeah. Okay. So we took. Should, it should uh, be the week of fight night then. Yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah, so we're we're playing a show ah, this Thursday. There you go, and we're yeah. playing this Saturday. Yes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I'm gonna be pissed drunk, <laughs> having the time of my yeah. fucking life. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's funny. We played with Body Box our very first show. We're and now you're them, playing with them again. Playing with them again. I picked up on that. You're very <laughs> <laughs> Don't, Kurt. Hopefully not. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, yeah, we're playing. Uh, yeah, we're playing. But they're they're hilarious because they're the, they're like a true. Well, it'd like, be cool to show them how far you've come too. Maybe if they remember you, that'll be maybe that'll be sick. Yeah, yeah. And they uh, that the, did us a lot of good in the early days, man. Yeah. We used to play. It's weird, but we played with the chariot like every time they came through here. Okay. And every time they came through, we got better and better. And then the last time, same thing we were talking about when we started this. They went to South by So What down in Dallas. And then we got a call from a promoter there because them and Sky Eats Airplane oh. were like, y'all need to check out this band in Little Rock. Okay. And they were like, look, we can't put you on anything because the whole thing's booked, but if someone drops, mm. would you be willing to come down? And we were like, fucking absolutely. Yes. Of course. Who the fuck's not? Right. We were like, how did you hear about us? And they told us. Nobody dropped, of course. Why would you ever drop that? Right. But it was cool as shit that it worked. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, that's we put in the time and the in the thing and just mm-hmm. grinded it out and we, that we were doing that thing back then. Right. We played every show. Yeah, yeah. We try to. Sp- I try to be a month, you know, once a month, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Once a month, you know. I mean, I don't really care about that to be honest. I mean, if it's a cool show, right? You know, oh, I mean, we did. I mean, it was, every- but it didn't yeah. matter. Yeah. We were the we were in that camp of it didn't matter. Just play everything. Right. Yeah, I mean that's. I mean, at the end of the day, like if, like especially, it's cool to play with bands that like come through here that people don't fully know, right? So I mean, we at least we can like pull some people, yeah. to like get them to see that touring band, right? I mean, I'm big on like you know making sure people have a good time, yeah, have yeah. a good time and and actually show up for uh, the you know for the shows. I mean, nowadays it's not that big a deal because it kind of you know, just watch. happens now, yeah, yeah, which is sick. Yeah, the bands put in the effort for sure. You still see it, but right, it's cool. It's cool, man. When you're like, yeah, the there was a show that just happened. I was talking. To, I can't remember who it was. I would say it, and genuinely, I can't remember. But we were like, oh, the the thing on the internet's not that great. But then it ended up being over double what that was anyway. Right. So that whole like divide it and add ten percent shit. Yep. 
didn't really work out for this show. It was phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to I like to go see bands or I like to whenever a band's coming through here, I like to not look them up. And oh, just interesting. Experience, yeah, experience them. it. Yeah, so I find a lot of my it's a very old school approach to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I like to be like, you know, people are like, oh, have you listened? That's to how them? I found no. every band. See it's, a flyer that yeah. sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. Let me come to that. Yes, and then you get your yep. fucking mind melted. Or sometimes the other way around, you're like, yikes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, you you know, you put like you know, good good local on there, whatever. I'm gonna come see the local because. You know, you got to support the homies. But, but the bad can be as effective as the good. It's still a cool memory. Yeah, yeah. And they still got some money. And, you yeah, know, sometimes the those process, are the best memories. It, dude, I'm like, not going to lie. I have so many of yeah, the yeah. bad ones also, you know. Right. Like, <clears throat> oh, there was this band that played, you know. <laughs> but, you know, it's still it's still a good time, uh-huh. obviously. So, But nowadays I get really excited about, like, all local shows. Like, oh, same. Yeah, I'm, that, I'm to the age now where I'd rather support my homies over anybody else. Yeah, it's it's cool supporting like touring bands, and I try I try to because you know we want to be we're trying a, to be one. Yeah, at a certain level, but, uh, I still will. But I just man, yeah, I just I don't know that I even yeah. All, all almost almost all the bands I I love are gone anyway. Yeah, I'm down to like you know the three or four and mm. finding new ones. It's cool and all, but it doesn't really connect the same. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Those bands you find when you're young, they stick with you forever. They do, yeah. I found some some bands recently that I really like, just really love, and I just kind of stick to them. Yeah, you know, it's like I listen to a lot of stuff, but you know, at the end of the day, I go back to those bands. Yeah, the know? comfort, so, man, was something you can uh, relate to. Relatability yeah. is huge, yeah. and it's hard for me, almost forty, to relate to what now a now twenty year old, twenty two year olds writing in a band. Yeah, you know, I don't have the same issues as they do it's right. hard, it, the correlation is off mm-hmm. or whatever yeah <clears throat> still respect the shit out of it still love them still right. you know it's like the zash kids i love that band they're yeah. unbelievable i cannot wait to see what they can do they, imagine when they hone it all in holy uh, fucking shit I'm, I'm telling you I, and all and again i don't want to come off as like as a whole i mean yeah, they're yeah, all yeah. great musicians right right once they do their thing long enough and it's all polished up yeah, yeah. holy fuck. honestly so like this run was like a really good like indication because and I, again i hate to be this you don't have to spend money to be a, a good band but once they get like really good gear i'm telling you so they were using our gear on this run so you could hear it what it yeah they sounded so good yeah yeah, yeah. they sounded get it. so good and like and so like they like we had been talking for a while and they hit me up like a couple weeks before they went in to record this ep and they were like hey so we don't have any like gear and we right. don't really know what to do and Jacob Murray was helping him out, and we've became really good friends. And he was like, he was like, hey, you know, can you can you come in the studio and like help them? And I was like, I was like, yeah, I mean, sure. Yeah. So I ended up bringing. They ended up using all my shit, right? Like all my amps, cats. Oh, it sounds ridiculous. It I just sounds so good. I heard it yesterday. Oh, did you, so did fucking, you hear the? Uh-huh. We got the master back. Yeah. It sounds so good. It's insane. So I, 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 I made their tones for them. Yeah. I mean. I, I like I said, I'm a gear guy. I know like what you know. They told me they were like you know we we kind of want to go for that like early knocked loose tone. And yeah, I yeah. Like, I was like, okay, well, I know how to do that. You know, so I tried to t- dial it in, get as, that in as good as you could. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and hopefully they were happy with it. You know, obviously they're nice. they're young, so it's I, like it's hard to be like, oh, I don't like that. You know, well, you but, don't know what you don't like till you spend a bunch of years finding what you do like. Exactly. You know. Yeah. But yeah, using our gear on this run, like they sounded so good. I bet. I mean, I bet they, it was phenomenal. They, they were. They were. I just can't even describe it. Yeah, yeah. Like they're they, they play their cards right. You it's know, it's really cool to have. To, then there's a bunch coming. There's so, it's yeah. not just those. Kids. Oh no, it's not. There's so many, yeah. and it's just cool as fuck that that is yeah. even a thing. Mm-hmm. I keep saying that, but it is just that cool because that kind of shit would have never happened 20 years ago. Yeah. Well, I'm sure it was just harder to nowadays. We have Spotify, YouTube, whatever. Oh, it's impossible. I mean, if yeah. you didn't know, so I mean, knowing somebody was the name of the game, right? That was it, mm-hmm. you know. And and but getting to know that person was a fucking hurdle in itself, right? Because they hate you. Yeah. If you're new and you show up, you're hated. Back oh, in yeah. the, back in the day, and now it's like I've heard about it. Yeah. Wide open arms thing, and yep. it's all way, way, way better, man. Mm-hmm. And it's just like, look how far someone can go in such a short amount of time when people give a fuck. Yep. Exactly. Like your band too. 
Like one year? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? And we didn't know anyone. Exactly. You go from not knowing yeah. anyone to being a fixture inside of a year. Right. And you've done all this stuff in one year. Yeah. Same with those guys. Same with a bunch of bands right now. Yep. It's, just, it's a lot. It is a lot. And it's fucking yeah, it's awesome It's great. And, it, and from Arkansas, it's just so hard. Because, I mean, you, you know, you're that same band in San Francisco. You're not. You're, yeah. You know, and... You you're know, just lost in the sauce, man. Right. You're just trying to get someone to pay attention. You, know, you get to one song and and then you blow up. You know, yeah. here here, you're you know you're one of few bands, but we'll at the same time, that. there's not that many people here. Right. So it's like hard to you know you look at some bands in some other places and they have ten thousand monthly listeners and they're all from that town. They're all from yeah. Well, you know? but they also had probably had to find each other too. I've I've actually yeah. been interested in that. I do want to have people on from. Not mm -hmm. bigger bands, yep. just adjacent to us. Mm -hmm. Same level, but bigger cities and see like what, because what's their struggle versus mm -hmm. what's our struggle. But right. then we, we, what we have that's good that wouldn't, they don't even get. Like yep. there's no way their music community is as tight as ours. There's mm -hmm. no fucking way. Yeah. You know, no. there's no way. No. Even the no, fandom it's... is different. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, the scene here is, is tight for sure. Oh, yeah. Because. Yeah. Yeah, thick as blood. It's yeah. crazy, and uh, you know, I, I would say like, like our struggles is yeah, I mean, it's just kind of getting the music out to more people. You yeah, know? like we we now have, I would say, gotten our music out to hopefully everyone who likes heavy music. I think everyone here. around here definitely knows who Open Casket is. Yeah, for sure. yeah, I would hope so by this point. And so that was my that was my first goal. And even if they don't, what do you got a handful of people still? So like yeah. your art that market's you got. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that was the first goal. Like it was like it was like, right. all right, you know, we gotta we gotta handle everybody around here before we sit before we try to outreach. Right. You know, we gotta we gotta get people here who, you know, are doing some touring. They go to other towns, they say, Oh yeah, we got this badass band yep. open casket, you know, and then you know, you get a contact with them because we're trying to do like these runs and stuff like, you know, trying to be very DIY with it. You know, I, I get that. We could, <coughs> we could get like a touring manager or whatever. But... Well, you keep you keep it as small potatoes until you need to grow. Exactly. There's no point in overgrowing yourself. I mean, I say that and look at where the room we're in. Like we could right. have easily just been doing this on the pasty wall. Yeah. We, I mean, look at this table. Like yeah. we spent so much money. Oh yeah, <laughs> Kurt threw an entire concert so we could even like have the epoxy. You know, right, so right. like that's literally yeah. all it bought. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, the, yeah, the table's sick. For and sure. then the, they bought the GoPros. oh, it did buy the GoPros, but okay. those things are sinners. Yeah, they are not made for this. They so now the we GoPros. Have, yeah, now we have these beautiful cameras, yeah. and then we have like the merch rack in the back. So I'm. Yeah. I'm sitting here saying something like, don't go for broke, but then we also went for broke. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a good backdrop for sure. Oh, it's sick. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's a... Uh, I love when I watch back. I'm like, I cannot busy, believe... I cannot uh, believe this is our thing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's yeah, busy. Yeah. Well, it's good, though. You know, I mean... Don't, don't come in here if you have epilepsy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. But... Just staring at like it, oh, it itself yeah. is a distraction, <laughs> right? Oh, that that if you if you had Ryan on, he would not pay attention. <laughs> he was on a long, long time oh, was ago. He? Okay, but that was in the audio days. Ah, I gotcha. So that those those episodes are there. Mm -hmm. You can go and get them. But I think m a lot of people, most people, are like, "There's the pre YouTube era of this yeah. podcast, and then the YouTube era of this podcast." Because mm -hmm. even on the download side, on the audio only side, people that listen to it audio only, mm -hmm. even when we started pu putting the focus on like making the, the content better and the look better mm -hmm. and the sound better, everything went up. Yeah, uh, the growth model worked on both ends. Right. Even though for the longest time we were only focused on one side of the the growth, mm -hmm. which is interesting. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't expect that to yeah, happen. Yeah, sometimes you just got to change trajectory, you know. Right. And and say, what do I need to focus on? Yeah. You know, and and sometimes and it works. You know. Yeah, and now I'm working on getting it to where our Patreon can we can start adding more content, right. especially from my house because I'm so busy. Mm -hmm. Coming over here adds another 30, 45 minutes to my drive. So right. it's like that's two hours out of my day. When I, if I was at home, I could just come home from work, 
like make myself look less shitty yeah. and then do the thing I need to do at, in my office. Mm -hmm. And I'm like right there. Like we got the cameras, we got the extra stuff. Yep. All that. Now I'm just missing like the microphone. Right. Which I have one, but it's kind of, I don't know how to, it takes a battery. Oh. I don't know if I want to use it. It's a dope ass mic, yeah. but it's made for uh, like outdoor live shit. Okay. It's a shotgun microphone. Okay. For like film. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, it, you know, for streaming purposes, that's a little overkill. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you stream? Uh, Do you play games and shit? Are you a Twitch dude? So, I have been in Being the such a computer guy? Yeah, yeah. So, I have done plenty of that. I mean, I've had YouTube channels over the years where mm -hmm. I've tried to make uh, content with, like, me and my what friends. And uh, we've always... Uh, what was one of your channels? What's the most embarrassing one? Come on. Um. So, my gamer tag growing up was, like... It was like Ninja Taco or something. Of course. Something yeah, yeah. awful. I had one that was Pirate Killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah exactly. And, uh, yeah, we, we used to, yeah, we used to stream games. Yeah, Those games. I, I mean, games. ever since, yeah, mostly video games. Okay. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a big gamer, whatever. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so, it does uh, sound so defeated about I know, it. Right. It's kind of like, a I mean, it is a, way, I mean, it's yeah. a modern job for it is. so many it is. people. Yeah, true. I mean, I tried to do it, but, you know. It... It's weird, though. This kind of stuff, that kind of stuff, it's the only job where you can grind your ass off, and it's still might, you might still just be fucked. Yeah. Like, yeah. no one gives a shit. Yeah, you, you got two viewers. You thousands of videos. Yes. And no one will ever find you. Yes. It's so, like, so the fact much... that this thing does what it does, it still blows my mind every day. Yeah. I, I, I get up every morning, and but I'm focused on it. I want this. I, like, yeah. this, I want this to work yeah. so much. I check my YouTube studio app before I check any app. I'm like, mm. all right, there's the thing, blah, blah, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 200 views today. Uh -huh. Oh, it's yeah, like, I'm sick, dude. constantly on the Spotify for artists. Yeah, our little green arrows are always pointing up, and yeah. I'm just like, fuck yeah, keep it doing it, yep, dude. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That focus, like that, if you know you want something and it's like, you have to go get it, and you have to do the thing. Mm. Figuring out reels is what I've been working on here recently. I don't know how to do it, so I'm yeah. trying to find workarounds for it. But I don't think there's a workaround. I think it's one of those things where you just have to create a process, mm. which I'm not a fan of. Yeah. Yeah, that's been a uh, struggle, like, on Instagram. Like, I try mm. to be very – Instagram, I would say, is the, is the band place. I mean, yeah. Facebook – Nah, Facebook is hit okay. or miss for us. Like same, I would say the I would say the older people, yes, you know, like Facebook still. Yep. That's why I always like I'll post it to Instagram, but I'll it'll share to Facebook. Yes, so I try to always keep everything. Well, and they've recently changed their algorithm, yes. and it, ours is fucking dead. Oh, ours is horrible. We went horrific. from or average video getting like a thousand views, mm -hmm. and then a post to get like a hundred yep. interactions to twelve. And the mm -hmm. views will get maybe five hundred. Their new algorithm, their new algorithm is fucking straight it's trash. It's weird. I th it's ever since they changed to the meta. Yeah. Um, oh, once they changed the to meta, yeah. they're just like fuck it. Once they started paying people to be on their website, yep. they suppressed everything. Yep. Oh, you can't find shit. Ever since they made it where you can't sort your posts by most recent, <sighs> like take me back. God, I hate it. I want to see it's the, the newest. It's miserable. For, I want to go down. Yes. I miss the days where you could go down. Chronological the list. order. Chronological order. He yeah. posted this at eleven. The next one's eleven oh two. That's how I want to read my yes. shit. Not some shit Kurt posted three yep. fucking days ago that I missed completely. Has zero interactions. Yep. This gorgeous photo. Yep. Right. Oh yeah. All Nobody fucks with it. Yep. What the fuck? I know. They they they, they hide it. And then I for see some it three days later. He made a post about a thing we were doing. Uh, the music video, and it had some interactions on it. I, it didn't show me who's in the fucking band that he's referencing, and it knows all that, right? And it didn't show me for three fucking days. It didn't even pop up on the Mayans to War uh, Facebook account. It didn't even show me that he had even shared it on the fucking... Yeah. It's my shit. Yeah. Why would you not show me who the fuck shared my shit? Yeah. You punk bitch. Fuck you, Mark Zuckerberg, you cock bitch. <laughs> I hate you. Your website <laughs> sucks. Yes. And then Instagram's and failing too. It's the only place it is. to gain followers. God, you know, I just fucking give me my soapbox. It's like where else are you gonna find people? God. I mean, Twitter's dead, in my opinion. And, uh, it's been dead, in my opinion. Um, you know, people. You know, it, I follow like Stan on Twitter. It's he posts, all TikTok, he posts funny man. shit. It's all TikTok. TikTok, TikTok is 
so weird. And I, I don't have though. the energy for it. I don't. I'll like, never be on it. I want it to die faster than Facebook did. Yeah. Like you can get but now everything was on TikTok. Famous on TikTok. You can get like, the you can get the views for sure. I don't know that it transitions. You know, it's it's all anybody gives a fuck, man. We played so whenever we were Omnibane, we played at awful venue that was Area Fifty One. Oh, day. And um, the uh, we played there with a band with two a couple of bands that had like fifty thousand Spotify. And, you know, we didn't know that. It was, like, the first time we played there. Right. We didn't know people didn't go to that venue. Right. And we were like, oh, yeah, they got, like, 50,000. And I found out they were, like, TikTok famous. Right. And, we sh- and th- I mean, there was, The like, correlation is strange, There was, like, man. two paid. Yeah. Literally. And I was like, damn, that did not translate. But sometimes it's the opposite. And then you'll fill up a fucking arena. Yep. There's, uh, like, in comedy, that's huge right now. Mm-hmm. Some people will be just TikTok funny. Yep. And they'll go to a place and sell out an entire venue. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's plenty of bands that do. It's weird. You know, I, I don't know. It's that weird, like, pop metal thing right now, like Bad Omens. Oh, okay. They're See, I don't know big, anything about that. Yeah, yeah, they're like a big TikTok. I should they're, try to they're look They're selling out. I mean, I would call Lorna Shore uh, TikTok. I mean, they sold out in like an hour. Yeah. Didn't they sell out the hall in like an hour? It was, well, it, was it was way. Me and Kurt were actually talking about it. It was yeah. way sooner than anyone it wasn't thought. Like a hourly thing. Still yeah, though. It was never a time for a... Right, right, right. It was no, just it just fast. it just sold yeah. out. It just sold out, and everybody was like, <laughs> "Interesting, yep. right?" Yeah, yeah. we were I mean, we know, were at the uh, at that like I merch fair. That... I don't hate any yeah. way anyone gets the thing. I just don't like that. That's the only fucking way now. Yeah. Even labels are like, "Well, how much your fucking pre count?" Yeah. What the fuck, bitch? What happened to the week of, like, right. the whole week? Give me the whole week before you tell me it's not good. Yep. And now it's beforehand? Yep. Or fuck me? Well, fuck you then. I don't want to do it, you shitty yep. fuck. I, yep. Dude, I'm on my soapbox. I'm, I'm going to add a, le- a level to it. I get it. it. I'm just old and bitching, but I just don't under-fucking-stand that. Why does one t-shirt correlate to, like, 50,000 streams, money-wise? Yep. I don't get that. Shit makes me furious. I I don't either. I mean, we've why are we fucking ourselves? We, we all let it happen. Yeah. Oh, I didn't have to put that fucking insignias. We didn't have to put that on Spotify. We just released it Friday, right? right? Yeah, yeah. We didn't have to put that shit on Spotify or yeah. Apple or nobody. Right. We could have put it on Bandcamp, which is for the for the band. Yep. It's on Friday. Mm-hmm. And get all get all the proceeds. If if we just if every band went fuck you, we're going here because they pay full fucking price. Mm-hmm. Great. Yep. Maybe it's just a money thing I'm hung up on. They they were it smart. It doesn't translate. They equated very well. views to money. Yep. We we care more about the view than we do the dollar, which the dollars where we can go places. Yep. If you're poor and you're talented, you're fucked. Yep. I hope yep. you got some fucking trust funds or something sitting around or yep. a really good fucking job you can take more than one week off a year. Exactly. You know? Yep. It's it's hard. Am I wrong? No, you're right. I mean, <sighs> especially views. I mean, we have Maybe like thirty thousand total listens on our Spotify. Yeah, and we, I mean, which I to me that sounds like a fucking insane it, amount. It does, it, which, but for, for and for I know like, there's bands around here that have like millions, which yeah, is yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah, I would say that we <coughs> maybe ninety dollars, which is like five shirts. Five says. shirts, cool, dude. Or if you yeah. put out one CD, yep, you'd make that in a night. Yep, one night. Yep. So. It just it's 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 odd. It's very you know? odd, and uh, and that's been like the struggle is like trying to like figure out how to get people to. I think the most perfect time is when you were young, like you said, you were getting them on your iPod. You had to pay a dollar per song yes. if you wanted it to stream it through your device. Mm-hmm. Once the iPhone came around and cell phones changed forever, if they had just kept that model where at least you have to buy the tracks you like yep. singularly. That's what I'm saying. That's the last time they made real money, though. Yeah. That's that is the last time you see yeah. all the labels folded or they got bought by the big ones, all the underground, under oath, and all those bands. They used to be able to fucking tour in a bus and play nothing but places like Vinos. Yep. And they made yep. that kind of money. That same good of a band now. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You're in. Two Honda Civics, motherfucker. Yes. Two Honda Civics. A 9740 Connell one. That's right. Yeah. And good fucking luck, yeah. bitch. Yep. Yeah. You're going to break even or you're going to go broke 99% of the time. Yep. 
And that's why that's why we're trying to do. I am screaming. I'm like sorry. I said, no, I'm I get it. Up. I get it. No, I totally get it. That's why we're trying to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's why we're trying to do these, you know, these weekend things because we're not trying to go broke. We're not trying to lose our job. I think that's why a lot of people tell you now the weekend run is the thing. It is the thing. Used to be. Why would you only play on the weekends? Right. Luckily, we don't live somewhere where. You know, we it takes us twelve hours to get to the first town. You know, you hear Dave Grohl when he was young, they would just leave for a month in the summer. Their yeah. parents, they're fourteen years old. Yep. Yeah. Go, go out into the world and be a musician, and it worked. Yep. Yeah, it was a lot of work and probably did cost more money, but not really. Yeah. I mean, well, how much? It just how much so you have much to pay to for a fucking right record? I mean, a hotel. I mean, the cheapest hotel. We literally. So in Madison, a hundred dollars now, isn't it? It's a hundred dollars. Yeah, it's a hundred dollars. Yeah. The, the 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 whenever we were in Madison, we played the show. We were like, ah, oh, it's fine. Even hotel. the shittiest ones are like seventy five. No, like, no, no. They used to be they're twenty still, bucks a night. You know, hundred. No, see, that's crazy. We 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 were in Madison, Alabama, middle of fucking nowhere. That is the middle of nowhere. And we and we were trying to find the cheapest hotel. We literally went to four different hotels. We were like, all right, we made this much money tonight. Let's try it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, obviously, <laughs> like, I do pretty well at my work, but it's like, I want to try to. You don't want to dip into that. Exactly. Yeah. I want to use take advantage band of. fund. You know, right. <laughs> and you spend $10,000, $2,000 on a tour and you lose all of it. <laughs> right? Hey, we've got a whole episode about that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, yeah, we spent like two hours trying to find the cheapest hotel. Good Lord. And then finally we ended up at the Red Roof Inn hey plus, plus Plus. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Plus Plus. And Sweets. Who, who owns that, Nintendo? It was, it was, <laughs> it was written plus out plus. plus, and then it had a plus symbol. So we were at the Red Roof Inn Plus Plus. We were on, it was hilarious. We were, so we were hanging out on like the third floor where our rooms were. And we're standing outside like talking. And this guy pulls up to like the front of the uh, the front of the the hotel, uh-huh. and and I'm looking at it, and he's got a fucking lit candle in his car, <laughs> like in his cup holder. <laughs> and I'm like looking at it, and I'm like, guys, guys, I said, you know, this guy's got a lit candle, and, and then I realized he's on a date with a girl uh-uh. in the car, in the car oh. with the lit candle. He's got. A, he drove up with the candle. I don't know lit. if this is the most baller shit I've ever heard, or the most ridiculous I don't know what shit he's I've ever going heard. For. I feel like this is both I'm like, and, and there's a good amount of like wax in there, and I'm like, one break and you're <laughs> fucked, you know. So, and I, and and so like I told, uh, so Jacob like uh, went inside the hotel room. And he was like, everybody slowly walk out here uh-huh. and come look at this car. <laughs> this dude with this lit candle, and I'm like, this is a nice hotel. All right. People are pulling up with lit candles in their cars. Uh-huh. This man hates air fresheners. He's like, that's too expensive. Yeah. I'll get this candle $5. Last me three months. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And this this hotel room was like $110 a night. <sighs> and I was like, God, man. Dude. Yeah. It caught, it, even yeah. just that. Well, and that's because you wanted it. So there's arguments to both yeah. sides. It's like, well, you could have just slept outside. We slept which is more of my thing, like the beach bum uh, style. Which Parkway Drive, that's how they... Yes. Did it? Granted, they live in Australia. Yeah, and so like beach moment, it's a re- they can actually do that. They yep. sleeping on a nice beach, surfing, yep. but at the same time, you can just sleep under if the we car. Weren't with the two bands, we right. would have slept in the van. Oh, for but sure. But it was the yeah. fact that we had ten people yeah. in this van. I mean, dude, sleeping straight up and down is a real motherfucker. It's hard, and I tried. I slept for like a couple hours. Yeah, and I and I could have done it. But you get used to it. Your body yeah. gets so adjusted and tired. You're just like, yeah. it's automatic at some point. Yeah. yeah. And so we, we, we would have done it if, but I think everybody was just kind of like, like eh. uh-huh. you know, it's just four days. Uh, so like, let's just, just make get it a work. Hotel room, uh-huh. You know, so. it's only $400 on the budget. We didn't plan for. <laughs> and that's exactly right. Yeah. I mean, it is, you know, luckily we did pretty well in Alabama. Right. We got the homie deal. You know, and so we did like I think we sold like twenty. But shirts. also, there's like, hey, is there anybody whose house we can crash at? Yeah, that, that gets weird. Though. Unfortunately, the like so, uh, Bl- Blaith, who's the singer in No and uh, No Cure, he booked 
the show in Alabama, and mm-hmm. he he's on tour. Ah, so it was kind of, like, damn, yeah, and um and so that was uh, that was the and then we were gonna we were gonna try to find a place uh, to crash in in Atlanta, but if you ever been to Atlanta, I have not yet. It is pretty rough. I am trying to get to Atlanta with the wrestling guys. Yeah, they do one inside a brewery, and I'm like, that's, oh, okay. Just in it's my not DNA. Sabbath brewing. I don't know. Brewing is okay. I don't know. That's like that. That place got like canceled in Atlanta recently. <laughs> oh, yeah. The owner's like a freak. We got to wrap it up. Sorry, dude. I got to drive no, you're all the way good. to fucking damn near Dallas. I got you. All right, cool. plug your shit. All right, open casket. We're Little Rock fucking death metal. All right. Hell yeah. All right. Go check us out. Spotify. We're playing a show Thursday. Oh, that's right. Because by the time this drops, yep. yep. And then go watch and wrestling. And then we're doing after that. our a dual EP release show Sick. with Kill Order. That's awesome. On July eighth, it's a Saturday. Oh, nice. We want everyone there. I'll be there. Um, it's like, uh, like a bunch of sick bands from Texas and Oklahoma. Okay. Um, they're all kind of like up and coming hardcore bands or death metal bands. Right. And yeah, that's that show is going to be awesome. Fuck yeah, dude. So. I think that uh, if you're out of town, it's only ten bucks to get in. No it's shit. Like six bands. Okay. I think Dakota made it ten bucks if you're coming from out of town. But if you're not from Arkansas, what a nice guy. I know, right? Well, that's a way to. You are from Arkansas. It's yeah. fifteen dollars. Fifteen if you live here. If, if you live here, it's bitch. fifteen dollars. <laughs> <laughs> twenty at the door. All right. So. <laughs> and if you give me shit, it's twenty five. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so, come out to that show. That that show is gonna be awesome. So. All right. And cool. we're on Patreon. Please go to the Patreon. More content coming very, very soon. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Patreon's cool. Patreon's cool, and it's about to get a lot cooler. We'll yeah. do a lot of things. I have ideas. And then Facebook, Instagram, Crashcast Pod, Twitter, Crashcast Pod One. Thank you for listening. Peace. Woo, baby. Awesome, dude. Cool.